So we're back for number two of these Let's Plays. I am Damien Geppetto and I will be your host. Let's get some copyright free music going and we'll call it a night. There we go. Nice and chill. All right. What do they want? At least 109 and 70. All right. Let's go wide. Let's go as big as possible. Because we play direct. So, favorite team's playing a direct style. That is us. All right. Our number one defensive midfielder, he's going to become unsettled if he's not allowed to leave. I mean, I need this. I need this kid. Let's let's persuade him to stay. Um Okay, he wants to go. You're my best defensive midfielder. Okay. I mean, do I let my best player go at the start of a stream? I don't think so. I mean... He's going to be an anchor in the back for us. I I'm not letting him go yet. let you go for 375 so he went from being angry to being just okay that's the top end of his range okay so we got another center back cool all right so we've signed two center backs Okay. Okay. Oh, and he can play defender right too. Oh, look at that. We just we got ourselves a backup on the right, and I didn't even realize it. Ball playing defender, defend. And let's see. What does he need to work on? Oh, we'll work on ball handling. Ball control. 
Add to training camp squad, team registration. Add them there. Okay. There we go, there we go. Good and plenty. Um, and what do we have left for money? Ooh, ooh. All right. I think we're going to have to go for someone who has free transfer. So let's go. fast he's fast 15 15 his finishing is only 10 though that's not really good but he's fast okay first touch dribbling's eh composure's not the best he's got passing and technique and he's unfortunately inconsistent problem with injuries i'm not i'm not investing in that i'm not investing in that Let's go transfer value. Let's go anybody else. Okay, he's a C. That's not going to be good enough. This is one we're looking at right now. Not that fast. Let's fully scout him. He's not too expensive. probably have to sell some players so let's go look at our squad let's go look at transfer listed who is transfer listed we only have Jota transfer listed okay who else is a midfielder that doesn't play a position we like Ramos He could, yeah, he could play defensive midfielder, but he's not, you know, he's not a defensive midfielder. And I just saw he's susceptible to injuries, so let's transfer list him. Confirm that. All right, who else? Who else can we get rid of here? Ah, Esteves. Let's take a look at him. Oh, he technically, he technically can play on the left and right attacking wings and he's got the crossing to do it that's for sure he's got agilities I think we're gonna keep a stevis because he's not worth too much and we got three goalkeepers That's our 18 year old. He's okay. Franca. I believe he is a team leader, though. Back up. Kumiar is 35 years old. Not worth a lot. He is better than Franca, but not by a lot. And he's our important player, okay. He's a highly influential player. signing okay all right so 
So let's see. Let's add the shelter group. So uh, what is the hierarchy? There we go. Jota, all right. So we're trying to sell our, our top players, it looks like. Ariola. No, we're not selling him. Witi and Gunminares, okay. I didn't I didn't want to do it I just wanted to see what would happen all right well we added one more to the transfer list so striker Pedro Lucas six foot one I don't know if we can afford him though estimated salary is about 60k so let's see Adjust it again. Oh, oh, this is our first scouting update. All right, I'm going through the cards. I know most people like to go through the list here, but I feel like you just you lose out on so much. He's 35. He's a 35 year old striker with 16 finishing. That might that might be the answer. Problem is the salary. He's really slow, too. We'll add him to the short list just because he's. Alright. We're gonna I'm just gonna have to accept that. We're gonna have to sign some old players. But this is not he's not gonna fit into what we're doing. Okay, Brazilian goalkeeper cheap as hell but we don't need another go oh wow he's really good let's add him to the short list okay Galveo he's on loan right now all right well I'm not gonna worry about him since he's on loan Pedro Jr attacking midfielder and a striker his finishing at 10 as a striker is just not good enough not a position I'm worried about We've got limited budget, so can't afford to. I mean, it'd be nice to get a backup in that position, but we can't afford. Look at their salary expectations. That's a little bit too much. Does not have the finishing capabilities. He's not really a striker. All right, 26 year old fullback. Well, this is the position where that, that's a position where we have the strength. 60k. It's not ridiculous, but. Okay, Fernandes, we already have him on the short list. Doesn't look that great. Defensive midfielder, defensive central back. Let's see how he is. Two and a half, okay. Not very fast though. And he's not ready for our division yet. He's third division, so we're gonna say no yet. All right. Ooh, all right. This kid is Brazilian and he's young. Little expensive. Well, that the short list. Not a position I use. Defender right. Well, they're giving us good defender right suggestion. Defensive midfielder. That is a position we use. Let's short list him. Okay. Well, let's make sure we scout. We'll add him to the short list for six months. Heda, attacking midfield right, left, really cheap. Does not look that good. Nathan, defender. We got. We already signed two defenders, central defenders, center backs. We don't need that anymore. Lucas is the guy we're looking at. Uh, 
I mean, this is the guy. We, we got a bid out on him, right? 120K. We'll see if we can get him. I don't know if he's going to be the, the answer, but he's, he's okay. We might end up not getting him. All right, so Joe Pedro, this guy has definitely got what I need. Good enough. Let's... Okay. Fully scout him. Add him to the shortlist for a year. Another defensive midfielder. This one's interested in coming alone. He's very fast. Doesn't have the jump. He can't jump, though. But this might be what we need. Deep line playmaker. Let's take a look at him. Maybe we bring him in on loan. Mm -hmm. Very consistent. Doesn't enjoy big matches at all. Well, I can't be as picky down here. Let's see if we can get him on loan. Geovane looks good. Ooh, never mind. This kid, this kid looks even better. Ah, he's a defender though, more than a deep line playmaker. He's 35. He's a little slow. Nah, we already got two center backs. Free kick taking, penalty taking. Nice. Great crossing. Not the fastest, but play both right and left. We'll add him to the short list. Not good enough. Scout him up. Brazilian, so let's add him to the short list because he's 19. We don't know. We don't know how close to three star he is. He wants a high salary. Don't think that's gonna work. Striker, six foot. 12 finishing, 19 determination. That's really good. Let's take a look at this kid. We're going to fully scout him. Okay, what is his Negatives. Can only play in one position and he's selfish. No word about the crossing. Driven in pursuit of his goals. Good in the air. Heading ability underlines his strength in the air. Oh, yes. That's, that's what I'm looking for. So, he doesn't have the jumping reach, though. He's only six foot, but he's 20 years old. We'll, we'll scout him up. Nah, uh, we're good on goalkeepers. This player's really good. Couldn't afford him, though. Okay. Not bad. Doesn't have the best finishing. But I need strikers bad. Let's just add him to the short. Let's move on. Now this is what we need. This is the kind of player we need. Four-star striker, 33. Oh, you know what? We can't afford him. I think I tried to get him. And he has problems, might have problems with injuries. So we're gonna remove him from the short list. 33-year-old with problems with injuries? Yeah, that's gonna hurt. All right, another striker, 35. Determination and teamwork, but 22,000. He, he earns too much money. Nito, he's slow. Don't like that. Doesn't look good enough. Silva would be pretty good. 41 year old goalkeeper. got two goalkeepers that are three and a half star. I don't think we need that. Let's 
not the position I'm looking for. We gotta be very limited here. It's striker. That's the only thing I'm signing right now. Striker or defensive midfielder if we are gonna sell off our best player. Hopefully not. Getty. Oh, 15 finishing. Six foot two. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. That cost of salary is too much, though, but let's see the reports. Estimated salary is higher than we can pay. Consistent performer enjoys big matches. Balanced personality. He's susceptible to injuries is the only... But it would be the best striker on our team. That's pretty much what I'm looking for is that final piece of the puzzle in our starting lineup. Okay, defensive midfielder. Is he really a defensive midfielder? No, he's a midfielder. But he can still play it pretty good. Okay. He's a deep line playmaker. Uh, decent stats. A little short, though. And susceptible to injuries, of course. But he's Brazilian, so we'll, we'll scout him some more. Okay, well, this is Build a Brazil in Portugal squad. All right, first team, what do we got? They're all defensive positions. Striker, no recommendations. 14 in progress. Striker, no recommendations. None in progress. Okay. striker we put an offer in on 110,000 For too many, okay, we made too many offers. Okay. We don't have the money to buy them anyway, so we're going to have to sell somebody. Going to have to sell somebody. Right. Whatever they want. This is our B team anyways. We got too many lone players, so I can't do it. Okay. Hello, hello, full of strabbit. Fullest Rabbit 11. Okay, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing well.
I hope life is treating you well wherever you are in this world of ours. This is, this is just the second stream of this save here. Did one yesterday. We started it up, created a new coach. Did all of the nitty gritty. And now we are about to get in. This is our last friendly. And then we're hitting the regular season running. You're from London. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I am a West Ham United fan. So, I don't have any problem with you doing a Middlesbrough career. It's fine. I, I would tolerate you if you said you were a Chelsea fan. But, uh, yeah, I am a West Ham United fan. So, I do like I do like a club in England. Oh, winger, Macedo. Five to eight weeks with a double hernia. Oh, cool. Crystal Palace cool. They're a cool squad. I like Crystal Palace. I got no reason to hate on them. Got no reason to hate on them. Hey, Chamorro guy. Uh, we're doing a we're doing a Portugal save, Chamorro guy. Uh, it's gonna be my off stream save, Chamorro guy, like I always do every year. West Ham's my squad. I got them into the Champions League. We got two pieces of silverware in the second season. I was crushing it too much. I was crushing it too much, Chamorro guy. So I decided to take a big challenge on. So this is Nacional de Madeira, and they are in the Azores of Portugal and in League Two, and they expect me to get promoted in Season One to League One, and they expect me to get promoted to the Premier Division in Portugal in Season Two. So this is basically extreme difficulty here. All right, out of contract. This is what we need. expect for a salary Woo -hoo -hoo, of course we don't have any cash over here uh, Brazilian they want us to sign all Brazilians on the squad so uh, what does he play defender wing back left god damn that salary is yeah these are all like super super fucking players we can't afford them I mean, I'd love to get Fernandino on this squad, but we can't afford him. So. It's completed. Uh, that's the problem with this skin. I can't hit restart. So, awesome. Uh, awesome, Fullest Rabbit. You watch all of Crystal Palace's home games. Sweet. Are they in the Sky Bet League this year? Or did they make it? Are they in the Prem? Oh, we're all we're signing all Brazil. That's what they want. We're the the lore behind this team is uh, I am I am um, laundering money for the Brazilian mob through this team. So that's that's what we made this this guy to be uh, a mafioso. Why can't I look at his profile? I want to look at it. Why can't I click on it with this skin? All right, well, the skin doesn't let me click on it. But I got a purple mohawk. And, uh, yeah, so anyway. But, yeah. Okay, I thought you were still in the prem. I know for a while there you guys were, were going back and forth, but... That's awesome since 2014. Sweet. play let's save this up god damn it's taking forever to upload this video to youtube all right team selection
Oh, sweet. Viera. Okay. Let's go positive, because we're going against our second team here. Okay. They don't like the roster, whatever. Can't make everybody happy. It's one thing I've learned. All right, let me just start. And let's just kick it off. This is a basically an inner squad friendly again. I already I already scrimmed them when I first took over the team to kind of take a look at my team, but. I didn't realize we were going to have to do it again. We beat them, what, 2 nothing in the first time we played them? So. Oh, this time they're, they're, this time they're home. Okay. Nobody's in the stands. Literally nobody showed up for this. Look at this shit. I didn't even look what they wanted to play. So you got Calero, Bahi, Daniel, Estevez, Marquis, Gustavo, Sousa, Vitor, Vieira, Sydney, and Kolek. Okay. So we put in basically all backups, it looks like. But Sydney's the new signing on defense. He should be really good on this team. Oh, nice, Estevez. See, he's the one I looked at and said, should I get rid of him? And I said, no, I'm keeping him on the squad. Right. Oh, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the darkness. you got for us oh get us a corner we'll take a corner i'm all right with that i'm all right with that so basically if there's anybody that's really destroys us in the b team here the purple team we can uh, think about promoting them to the main squad but we don't need to we got a huge squad like i said we just need a striker we don't have a good enough striker, in my opinion. I signed, I signed two defenders, center backs. One of them can play right fullback as well. Ooh, ooh steamer, steaming. All right, we're destroying them. Let's throw it to attacking. Let's make it, make it official. This new engine is interesting. You, they fight. Yeah. I I had really bad luck in my West Ham save with the next gen. I only got like one good one each year. It was really bad, but this this squad I have no idea. We're in Portugal and we want Brazilians, so we'll see. But this team is I, I shouldn't have a problem getting promoted in season one with this team. Getting promoted two years in a row, jumping up two in a row is going to be tough. That's what the board wants in my first two-year contract. So it's going to be tough to do that, but I don't think with this possible. I think it's possible. My first time ever playing the Portuguese League. 
Literally nobody showed up to this game. Not even the wives of the players. There we go. Calero. Couldn't get it in, but that was a good move. It was a good move. I like it. I like it. in here. Cool. It's fucking cold. It's cold outside. Good old desert chill. Oh, yeah. That game was amazing. That game was amazing. So, you probably don't have the crappy announcers that we do here in the U.S., man, but fullest rabbit like the announcers were going off in the beginning of the game like when it first started and they're trying to make it out they're trying to make the drama out because they think everybody in the u.s is a fucking idiot and doesn't know football and they're like these are both good teams this should be a pretty pretty even match it should it should we might just see ourselves a zero zero tie that goes to penalty kicks and Immediately as they said that, I yelled at them. I'm like, you guys are fucking idiots. Portugal's a way better team than them. How dare you? I'm like, Switzerland's good, but Portugal's fucking amazing. And then sure enough, Portugal scores two goals like a minute after I said that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, but the U.S. team's good. We just didn't have a striker. We just didn't have clinical finishing. Uh, we, that's all we're missing on the team. Like, we control the ball. We have amazing movement. Uh, decent, decent uh, positioning. The, maybe a little bit better on the defensive end. Um, we, our Netherlands exposed our defense, but we can control the ball and we can we can run around like nobody else. We got speed and we got skill. We just don't don't have clinical finishing on the U.S. team, man. Just don't don't have any finishing. I mean, we should have beaten Wales. We should have never tied Wales, but. Yeah, I mean, we we definitely, we were the better team against your squad of England for the first, I don't know, 50, 55 minutes of the match. Uh, but you guys started to pour it on towards the end. So, I mean, it was a great match. Sometimes a 0-0 tie is boring as all hell. But we played it a very exciting 0-0 tie. No, it got my hopes up seeing how good we played. Yeah, oh god, yeah. I don't think he's as awful as you say. I think the problem with Southgate is he rotates the squad way too much. That's his problem. His problem is he's he's trying to make everybody happy because you guys just have too many good players. That's what it comes down to. You just have too many good players. Off the crossbar. Uh, he could have got his second goal there. Um, yeah, yeah, you just have, you have too many players. So, he just doesn't know what to do. And, and he has, like, he has a love affair with Rashford and a couple other people that it's like, huh? But no, you got a great team. He just, he just shuffles your starting lineup so often that you just can't get any rhythm. Like, nobody, nobody develops that, that rhythm of playing together all the time. No, but he took he took he took my boy Declan Rice, so he's not a complete idiot. Oh, it's going in. Stevis gets another one. It's not gonna count. Didn't think so. Um, Tamori, I'm not 100 percent familiar with. Abraham, I, I I can see why. He went Southgate did what most coaches in those big roles do is he just went with all the big names that it's going to get people to watch on the telly. That's all it is. He needs he needs to take a lesson from the, the coach of Portugal who benched Ronaldo and then fucking destroyed because he benched his diva. 
That's what they needed to do. Bellingham is good. But no, like, that's... I, I mean, how many other coaches would be like, I know you're the most popular player in the world, Cristiano Ronaldo, but you're going to be benched for this fucking knockout game. We need better... We need a, a better team, and you're too much of a greedy diva. Sit your ass on the bench. I want to win. Oh, now that the game's locked up at, what was it, 3-1 or 4-1 when he let it... Now you could go out there, Ronaldo, to get the cheers. But I'm not putting you in there until the game is locked up. Because you're, you're going to fuck it up for us. Like, that's your best player on the team. But he's just a greedy... He's turned into just a greedy diva. Like, he's not a team player anymore. Because his career is ending, he just wants... He wants all of the acolytes. He... He wants to be, oh, I do too, but but Messi's fallen off more than Ronaldo has. Let's be honest. But this year, it's per, like, but the difference is, is that once Ronaldo left Real Madrid, he literally jumped from team to team to team to team. Because nobody wanted to deal with his fucking ass. I mean, he just literally got fired from fucking Man United for being a douche. Like, there's no other way to put it. His attitude is why he got mutual termination. They must have blackmail on his ass. They must have been like, oh, yeah? Well, if you don't accept this mutual termination, we're letting these videotapes out and your wife ain't going to be... Your wife ain't gonna be too happy about that one, is she? Oh, uh, okay, boss. I'll, th I'll take the mutual termination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll sign. I'll sign the the piece of paper that says we both agree to this. Sure, no problem. Just don't don't make me lose lose the ability to see my my kids. Like, <laughs> you know that shit kind of shit goes on. Ronaldo's always been a douche. I I'm going Team Brazil. This I think Brazil's got it this year. Brazil versus Portugal is going to be interesting. So wh what do you think? Do you think Eng Do you think England has a chance to beat France this year or do you think Southgate's going to muck it up for you guys? In my opinion, I think of the England World Cup squad in the same light as I think of uh, the Dallas Cowboys in the NFL football here in America. They're always fucking full of superstars. They're always the look like the best on paper. Everybody's always saying every year, we're going to win it. They're going to win it this year. We're going to win. This is our year. This is our year. And then somehow they always fuck it up when it comes down to the, the, the win or go home stage. That's how I look at it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a San Francisco 49er fan. Have been forever. I don't hate the Rams, though. My dad was a Rams fan back when they were originally with L.A. My dad was a Rams fan, and then they got traded away from L.A. to St. Louis, and he stopped cheering for them. Um, and then they come back to L.A. like fucking a decade later or whatever it was. That's, that's the crazy... You'd never have that happen in England. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine that fullest rabbit? If all of a sudden, like, one of your squads was like, yeah, okay, um... You know, Tottenham's having a rough go of it in in London, so we're just gonna we're gonna ship off to uh, somewhere else. Yeah, we're gonna go to Brighton Beach. We're we're gonna go to Brighton. We're we're gonna take over. I know that name, but I'm not 100 percent familiar with him. I, I don't I know him from from this game, but I can't remember. I mean, I don't think Southgate's a horrible manager. It's just what I said. He's just got too many mouths to feed, and he's got too many people chirping in his ear saying, you got to start this person because it's going to be X thousands of dollars more in jersey sales, and you got to put this guy in the starting lineup because we'll get this X many more millions of fans around the world watching. And, you know, like, that's the problem with being the English squad manager is you got to deal with all the bullshit. U.S. team don't have to deal with that because it's it's looked at as like not the, the a second tier 
sport in our country. It's it's like a fifth tier sport in our country. I mean, it's NFL football, NBA basketball, Major League Baseball, and then you've got probably women's football over men's in our in our country. Like that's how that's how low it is in our country. Like they're always saying, oh, this it's hockey's probably higher too. Yeah, you're probably right. NHL is definitely higher than men's football. I mean, we don't even call it football. Let's be honest. There's fucking commercials on. They're hilarious. That are at, basically they have Beckham and one of the NFL players, Peyton Manning, uh, arguing over whether it should be called football or soccer. It's Lay's like chip commercials. So it's just selling fucking crisps. But they're fucking hilarious. It's just too over the hill fucking oh yeah he's great it's just too over the hill retired fucking players like becoming spokespeople for fucking junk food it's fucking hilarious the irony is unmatchable seriously it's like a two minute two and a half minute long fucking advertisement Beckham fucking arguing about no it's football and Peyton Manning's like no, it's soccer. I'm looking it up in the dictionary. And the it's fucking hilarious, though. So. It's it's a well done it's a well done ad. The argument between the name is dumb, but the ad was done well because the way they do the ad is it's just two fucking old men bickering back and forth. But each like scene, they're eating a different bag of chips. So they start arguing about the Lay's, and then it's Doritos, and then it's Cheetos, and then it's something else. I forget what it's. So they just go through like all of the fucking chips they have while they're doing this whole back and forth. Like, no, it's football. No, it's soccer. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, he's 83%. Let's not warm him out. Who's who's really tired? Daniel. Daniel's tired. So let's put him. Let's put in Mr. Big Pee Pee. Yeah, Weston McKinney's really good. And our and our fullbacks. The fullbacks on the US team, Robinson and Dest are fucking amazing. Robinson and Dest, the two fullbacks on the US squad. Winger, wingbacks, fullbacks, whatever you want to fucking call them, right and left fullbacks. They're fucking amazing. And the, the captain Adams in the middle is gonna be a superstar. But uh, one of our best players, Reyna, was injured the whole tournament, so we didn't have that. And, and like, like I said, we don't have a, yeah, we we don't have a striker. Oh yeah, he's so class. And Dest on the other side is pretty class too. Dest, Dest could have played for the Netherlands squad. They wanted him on the Netherlands squad, and he was like, "Nope, nah, sorry, I'm playing for Team USA. Uh, that's where my allegiances are." I don't care that I got a passport. No, the US team the US team has great fullbacks, great midfield. We do not have great forwards and we do not have the best defenders. Our defenders are okay, but they're just old guys who played forever. Like we don't have like dynamic defenders. Yeah, but why would he? Then he'd have to. Then he'd have to fight all the all of the guys who've been there forever. Like, can you imagine the drama that would cause for all of the all of the people like Harry Kane who just expect to be starting all the time, regardless of the fact that the whether or not their knees are about ready to give out from lifting up a five pound weight. Well, in this game, he's a cheat code, yes. In real life, he's just a great striker. Let's be honest here. I mean, there's players that are way better in real life than in this game. For example, Sokka on your team. Sokka is fucking unstoppable in real life. 
In this game, he's just another fucking attacking winger. He's nothing special. So we started Lima at fullback. Nice. We gave Ariella a rest. That is awesome. Who do I have? Clayton. I've got Clayton. Davies played up front for Canada. Well, Canada doesn't have... Speaking of teams with no strikers, holy shit. Yeah, Morocco made it to the quarters, baby. Yeah. Shows you anything can happen if you get the penalties. I can't believe Spain got knocked out, but somebody needed to lose. One of the favorites needed to lose. I, I don't hate Spain, but, you know, it's, it's a good storybook story. And now they get the pleasure of who do they play? Do they have to play Brazil next? Who do they play next? I, I forgot to look at the uh, brackets. Let me look it up really quick. All right, so uh, Croatia plays Brazil. Portugal plays Morocco. Okay. The, the game is obviously Netherlands, Argentina, and England, France. Okay. So let me look at the bracket here. So, I mean... The Netherlands Argentina is going to be a really fucking great game, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Zé Manuel comes in off the bench and gets himself a goal. Nice. Calero just somehow got the ball on accident. So, I mean, one side of the bracket has more, uh, more, I uh, like, that England-France game is going to be, that's going to be amazing. I, that's the one I don't know how to call. I think France will win. I, my pick was France versus Brazil in the final before the tournament even started. So I'm sticking with my original pick of Brazil versus France in the final and Brazil taking it this year. But um, it'll be interesting. The Netherlands, Argentina and England, France, man, those are two games I have no idea. Like Morocco should go down easily to Portugal. And Brazil should walk over Croatia. That's my guess. Oh, I know. Well, for the World Cup, he picked up for him. For sure. That's what I'm saying. But the Netherlands play such a good, solid uh, team defensive game. And they're just a good counterattacking team. So, I, I, I mean, it's a good matchup. Because the Netherlands is the kind of squad that might be able to soak up all of that quick movement and energy from Argentina. And just clinically finish at the end. You think France wins 2-0 against England? Okay. That's a pretty good pick. My guess is 2-1, but I do, I do think France is going to win too. But it, it also won't blow me... Like, if England won 4-2, I wouldn't be that shocked because your, your team, man, you have goal-scoring potential. England's got some uh, ridiculous goal-scoring potential. But I don't know. Messi and Mbappe have just been on fire this tournament. Like, so Messi and Mbappe are, are, I mean, if it could easily be France, Argentina in the fi final because Argentina lost the first game against Saudi Arabia. And I think that woke them up. I think that just woke them up to where they're like, oh, fuck. That's my opinion. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, my video looks like it's ready. Yeah, but Memphis is, he's good. He's good. All right. If you want to see the beginning of, of this uh, save, I just got the video up on YouTube. I just put it up. It just got processed. Took me all day to fucking edit and upload that shit. Putting a, putting a three and a half hour video up on YouTube does, it takes a fucking lot of time. <laughs> But like I said, the Netherlands just they they're clinical. Like they're clinical, they're they're solid. They played together as a team for a very long they're the opposite of your England squad. Your England squad is all talent and no chemistry. You don't have team chemistry. That's the problem with your team. It's a bunch of individuals who all kick ass who don't know who's the number one. Everybody's trying to be the hero. That's my, that's my take on it. I mean, I'm impressed with the U.S. squad. I said before the tournament started that the ceiling for the U.S. squad was the quarterfinals and that they're probably going to make it out of the group, but it's not going to be easy. And I was, I turned out to be completely accurate with my predictions. a little tired so we bring anybody else in you only play amazing when you score one do you mean like the first goal or do you mean like only play amazing when you get only one goal I think your team plays great when you score right off the bat but I think England's a good squad, but I just think Southgate has not found the right fucking grouping of veterans, youngsters, superstars, and grinders. I think that's Southgate's problem. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I figured you were saying. Yeah. Yeah, you don't know how to come from behind, but once again, that comes from not having belief in you as a team so you gotta go up for everybody to be like oh it's our day today it's like the opposite of a team like the Netherlands or France who they're they played together so long they've got their team so gelled together for for me I don't understand why Mason Mount starts every fucking game for you guys. I don't get that. McGuire is not the greatest, but yeah, I agree with you. McGuire is pretty bad. But fucking Mason Mount, like, you're telling me there's nobody else besides him on the team? The fuck? Like, I think that's probably just tactical illiteracy by Southgate. Like,. Your squad should run like what I'm doing here in this game. Should run like a 4-2-4. Don't need any attacking midfield central role. Don't need anybody in the midfield. Just, just two midfielders, a nice line, and then boom. That's it. No, he like exactly. He likes him too much, and he's just not that good. And that's probably because Southgate probably is a sucker to 
players that kiss his ass. So I can say Southgate just doesn't know how to pick the team, but it's not he's not horrible. He's just very he's not enough of an asshole is what it is. To to manage the England squad, you guys would be well to take our fucking manager from West Ham. Fucking Moyes. Could you imagine Moyes fucking coaching that team? Dude, there would be no shit given. Like Somebody would whine and complain and they'd be off the team for fucking four years, right? Like, that's what you need. You need somebody who can just fucking get all... Herd the cat divas and just tell them, like, I don't give a fuck. I'll play all under-19 players in in our main squad because that's how good England is. I don't need you. I don't care how many millions of pounds you fucking make a year. You ain't going to go along. To get along, you're going to get out. Like, that's what your team needs is a coach that can bust balls and isn't, like you say, uh, a media PR manager. I mean, but Southgate looks good on the fucking flyer for fucking Team England. Let's be honest about it. He's a pretty boy. That's what it is. He's a pretty boy with a bunch of other pretty boy football players. So, So the team card photo, the stock photo that you give to the media, you fucking look... You look sexy and pretty. It's that all it's all that fear of the fucking Americans forever making fun of you guys for having bad teeth that you gotta prove you're still pretty. <laughs> you don't need to overthink it. It's usually just vanity. I mean, because look at it. Southgate's the kind of guy that you're like, yeah, I'd let my, I'd let my daughter hit that. He's pretty cute. Yeah, if my daughter brought that home to the dinner table, I'd be like, good job, honey. Sweet. He's hot. Yeah. If you don't bang him, I will. <laughs> Appearances matter so much in today's world, especially with the PR. I mean, let's be honest. All right, so let's go to tactics here so we can pick our starting lineup for the season. Come on. Got everybody in shape. Number one. Well, we got 15 slots in league? That's nuts. Let's compare Gomes and Souza. Gomes has got him by a mile. All right. I don't even want to look farther. I, I was already leaning towards Gomes anyways. All right, so Estevez has played himself into the starting lineup. VD never showed me anything. He's right only. Preferred foot right only, great. that. All right, 
that should be our starting lineup. Okay. Okay, Ramos. Say hello to my little friend called Listed for Half Price. Okay. Close to half price. We'll list him for 50k. Offer to clubs. He's like, I think I'm going to go somewhere else when my contract's over. All right, how about I just sell you now, you fuck? Good luck. see if we can get anybody to get some offers here. All right. Okay. And we'll just, <laughs> like, like that. I'm just like, you want to go? Okay, fucking get off. Promotion by winning the league. Great. Second round minimum. Group stage fine. This guy's got to go on our short list. I mean, he's got injury problems, but... You got to go with what you got to go with. And especially since I'm losing a lot of midfielders here. Let's be honest. John is mad at me. I didn't want to retrain him as a defensive midfielder. I tried to go for 120, whatever. have another friendly ok 
Okay, we got 50k more on the transfer budget. guy I spend money on is it worth it it just seems kind of average he's consistent and enjoys big matches good in the air I think I think I think I do I need myself a target forward and he's gonna do it he's gonna do it for us He's gonna be the target forward for us. Yeah, I think I think I just gotta pull the trigger. I gotta get myself a target forward. It's the key to my tactics, so. They're like, why did you sell him in the last year of his contract? Because he wanted out and I wasn't gonna play him. Get the fuck out! Pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Can't afford them. Squad numbers. Anybody got any requests that I need? Oh, VD wants 81. We can't give him 81, can we? Yeah, we can. Why aren't we giving him 81? He wants 81. Give him 81. What's wrong with you? What was wrong with the coach before? Give him 81. That's a good number. I like that. All right. Hector Balde, you're going to get six. Lima, you're going to get 12. Bossic, you're uh, loaned out, so you don't need any number. We sold 607 season tickets, folks. We're breaking records over here. Holy crap. I got used to seeing 50,000 something as a West Ham save. Goal scorer odds. Nobody from my team. It's because we don't have great goal scorers. So. One more friendly. One more friendly. And then we get into the season, folks. I was a little premature thinking that we were done with the friendlies. getting another defender we already filled that position defensive midfielder maybe goalkeeper I've got I got two good goalkeepers and an 18 year old who's two and a half stars I am fucking I am waste five hundred thousand salary you gotta be fucking kidding me okay compensation zero talk to me about that shit Wrong position now. Compensation zero. A little expensive. We got a new striker coming in. Well traveled striker. Old man's well traveled. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. You didn't miss anything. Except for old man yelling at clouds, me being the old man. Yeah, um, I can't afford a six hundred thousand dollar salary. You gotta be crazy. Yeah, Fernandino would be great to have on the team. But not this year. 
We're not getting somebody that good this year. Can't afford to get another defender. Okay, he's attacking midfielder. Could be a striker. We got a striker that we just signed. I'm just looking for any possible. Okay, we got too many loans already. Not a position we need, not a position we need. Striker. A little high on the salary demands, but this is, oh, he's 6'4". Oh, God. Four star. Should have signed this guy instead. Graziano Pele. Let's fully, let's get him. All right, let's do it, let's do it once. He's got a good name, so. Oh, 19 year old, but it's a little expensive. The salary's low. So, let's take a look at this kid. 6'3, jumping reach. Oh. And is he. He is Brazilian. Oh, God. We love our Brazilians here, folks. Nacional Brazil. That is what this is going to be. All these defenders because I put all of this scouting for defenders and they're finally coming back I see I put I put top priority all right so let's do let's adjust our top priority here go with Switch it up, and then Since we got our striker sign, let's just do that. Try and get defensive midfielders. Not sure that Jota's going to go, but we're training him as a defensive midfielder, and he's a, he's one of the mo he's the most influential player on the team. So I pissed him off trying to get rid of him. I couldn't sell him. It backfired, but we're still early enough in the save where it's not going to be a big deal. I can still make it up to him. We might just have to start him quite a few games, but something that we we can possibly do. I'm not changing my tactics just to appease them, though. That's for sure. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Not a lot of money. 31000 Doesn't have enough tackling, though. Cheap is all held, good determination, but not really good enough on the stats. Uh, getting, getting cold out there. OK. 
Okay. Oh, there's a million good teams to manage. It depends. I mean, it depends on what kind of challenge you want, and it depends on what league you want to go in. I mean, do you want to stay in England? Do you want to stay in England and you have a decent challenge? I got one for you there. If you want to stay in England, try Preston North End. Not easy, but a good team. What do we want to work on? I did them last year. Fun. We'll do ball handling. the skybet championship so but they're not a good enough team so if you get promoted with them you will get you will get your ass kicked to the premier league premier division whatever it is is. normal bonuses i've never i think i once did a big bonuses and it doesn't really change anything Forty K, eighty thousand dollars a year, give or take. He's a deep line playmaker. Alright, what's what's the catch with this player? Oh, he's really susceptible. Injury proneness. Not just oh I'm fuck. Alright, we'll move him from the short list. Star rating is is not better than the the traits are more important. I thought I thought this was a real game, so we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> How much budget do I have? <laughs> What is zero divided by zero? <laughs> 30,000, 70,000 on the payroll. So we can basically get a freebie in. No, you just sign. You just signed into contract players. That's all it is, Fullest Rabbit. Like it's a whole different strategy when you play. All right, so he's a free agent. Four stars. It's not consistent, but he likes big games. All right, what do we got here? How about four star deep line playmaker? Ooh. 18 current ability. Decent strength, stamina. Decision, composures, anticipation. Everything but tackling for that position. 
Oh, except fucking one, one to one point three million. There's no way we can't afford. We got sixty k per autumn. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Let's take a look at this guy, Jefferson. Oh, he looks good. Not as good with the numbers of the two million dollar player, of course. What a what a shocker there. But he looks good. Oh, he's not that great. He's not a nat. He's a he's a right back. He's not a defensive midfielder. I should have known that. I mean, this is the best suggestion they have for me, and his injury problems is what I'm worried about. Doesn't enjoy matches, could have real problems with it. Not just might be injury prone, but could have real problems with injuries. It's just like a hard pass. Yeah. No, what I'm hoping for at Fullest Rapid is not a financial takeover. All we need to do is get promoted two times in a row. That's what they want from me. That's that's my goal because that's what the board expects of me. Get promoted this year and then get promoted in the Premier Division next year. So this is who I've signed. So I sold this kid, Francisco Ramos. We brought in Balde on a free transfer. We brought in this center back on a free transfer. Come on, pull it up. So he's young, but he's six foot five. He's 23, and he's six foot five, with 16 jumping reach, 12 heading. So he's not he's not the best right now, but he's got the potential to get good. And he's six five, which is huge for me. And then this is the other defender we brought in who can also play defensive left fullback. Uh, this guy's a starter. He's already great. But he's six foot, 14 jumper range, 14 heading. But he's just solid all around uh, for the defensive position. And then this is the striker we just signed here, Pedro Lucas. Who's got potential to get even better, but he's going to be our target forward. That's the history, everything I've done. Listed players. He's listed for loan. This is our 18-year-old goalkeeper who's already two and a half stars. So we got him listed for loan. Um, recruitment focuses. They want to add attacking midfield right. Fair enough. I'm okay with that. So this is what's going on. I, I rejected this offer on Dan Levick. We accepted all four of those offers. Go to the go to the recommendations. There's no recommendations. We got these in progress. So we just say in the meeting because it's just it's early in the save. Your your team the first recruitment focus you have it, it takes a while for the scouting to get working. You just don't have enough of rule pool to go on. I had to, I had zero scouts when I took over, so I had to hire four scouts. He was on our short list, so we'll just let him go. Okay, he's capable, but he's still not ready. That's our new player coming in. For some reason, they don't realize I want him to start as target forward. So I'm going to take Dudu out of the starting lineup. Should we give? I think we should give Jada a start. Oh God! He doesn't know that position well at all. But look at this player. I mean, we're training him on this. 
Uh, so, scout this player. He's on my freaking team. What do you mean scout this player? We watch him every day in practice. Let's start Jota here as deep line playmaker. This is where I want him to play. I mean, let's move it. Let's see if he can play in that now. It doesn't matter. He just he just hasn't trained enough in that position. So we'll, we're going to start him because he's got he's got to get some fitness going. And you know what? We're going to start Dudu too because he's got to get fitness going as well. Estevez is who I think I'm going to have starting here. I think Estevez is going to be starting there. That's my thought. That Estevez is my starter. But let's get Weedy in. Give him a chance one more time. And let's go positive. Yep, we're still positive. Okay. So we got another another new player. They're they're going basic 442? Really? You got no no creativity at all? I'm a 424 with direct passing, so we pass it, we pass it direct, we tackle hard. That's what we do. That's what we do over here. Over here, National. Alright, Vitor. Like none of that crap. None of that crap. He's he's an up and comer. He's two star right now, but he's he's left footed and he's got he's got the he's got the raw talent for a center back. A lot of these players are second string starting this game. Last friendly of the season. The goalkeeper's our number one goalkeeper though. He's the captain and team leader, I believe. coming off of an ankle injury trying to get him back in shape nice vt witty 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 i'm calling him whitey I i'm gonna insult him that's not how you earn your place in the starting lineup carlos daniel with a crappy cross attempt so the strategy of these tactics is very basic well, I shouldn't say basic. The strategy of these tactics is is uh, simple. We defend hard and we go hard on the attack and we leave the midfield open. Midfield's free. We're basically baiting other teams to go into the midfield and then we're going to trap the shit out of them in the midfield and make it hard for them to go, go into the attacking third. So we just gave up a goal. That was a beautiful strike. Can't be mad at my goalkeeper there. We're, uh, 
I'm best I'm betting this team isn't a division above us. They might just be in our same division, I don't know. I didn't set up the friendly schedule. When you start a new save, the friendlies are already uh, arranged and everything, so. Lucas, that's our new striker signing. Got himself onto the uh, scoreboard with the offsides. Oh, Doodoo's offsides. That's ah, Doodoo. -doo. Oh, wow, Daniel. You saved a rocket ship. All right, so we're on positive, and we're definitely not dominating the game, so let's drop it down to balanced. This year, balanced is actually pretty, pretty good. Last year, balance was okay. But I still felt like, oh my god, 2 nothing that quick? Alright, we berate the entire team. God damn. That's what happens if you start all... I, I listen to the assistants. We started everybody based off of fatigue to get them stamina ready, not the best players. So it might be a little, uh, little bumpy in the beginning of the season while I try and figure out who the actual best... 11 R to start the team, but I mean, we got our ass kicked against Viz, a premier division team, so I don't know where this where this club sits. We'll take a look after the game. It's not important now. We're already playing them. Since we're on the road, I'm assuming they're in a division higher than us. Typically, the uh, the lower ranked team goes on the road to the higher, higher, higher rep team, higher, higher league team. Typically, how it is. Yes, I know Jada's is being played out of position. He's he's not going to get experience in the position unless he plays in it, and he's got he's got to get himself into shape. He's at sixty four percent stamina. We we got to get all these players into stam into um yeah stamina. What is it? It's stamina and I forget what the other one is, whatever. Fitness. Fitness. I gotta get them in the fitness. That's that's the word I'm looking for. He doesn't have the fitness right yet. Oh, Gustavo. Gustavo's gonna be good. Alright. Mr. Whitey saying, I I want I want you to think about me for the starting role. There we go. Oh, Dudu's offside again. Uh, you're going to be sitting on the bench, Dudu. You're always offsides. Yes, Jota's being played out of position. We are very aware of that because we don't have a regular strike, a uh, regular midfielder. Okay, Jota. Not a bad idea, though. He's out of position, but he's still got a 6-7 rating. So I'm not too mad at him. He, he's a good player. He knows what he's doing. He'll figure it out. He's a central midfielder playing a defensive midfielder. Yeah, he's out of position, but not ridiculous. I'm not. It's not like I'm playing a striker as a center back. Come on now. He's just got a few different like assignment roles. He's playing a little bit. It's, I, he's still playing in my role. In my setup man role, I guess would be what you call it, in the central midfield. So it's pretty similar. It just. He's in a defensive midfield, so he's got more defensive assignments. He'll get, he'll get it. I tried to sell him. I tried to offer him for 120k, get rid of him. Nobody wanted to come buy him. He's a little mad at me right now, so hopefully we can patch that up over time. God, doo doo. When players are coming back off of injuries, they're just not that good. Let's be honest. Yeah, it was, if I remember correctly, it was pulled ankle ligaments. Oh, Pedro. Oh, that's fine. Ease off those tackles.
Oh my god. Our defense can't stop shit today, huh? Holy crap. We're getting our ass kicked in the back. Oh my god. This is definitely a better team than us. Oh wow, that's just fucking way out there. You can't stop that. There ain't a goalkeeper alive that stops that. Unless there's like a seven foot four goalkeeper who's got an arm reach of eight, eight feet. I always, I always wanted that. I always wanted a seven foot tall goalkeeper. I think that'd be awesome. I've never seen it. I think I've got six eight is the highest I've ever gotten. I mean, what is that centimeter wise? What do you guys? You guys know what that is like? Yes, yes. Goalkeeper, Dennis Seaman. Yes, yes. He's a little expensive for, for this team, but... I tried to sign him on my West Ham squad, and he didn't want to come. Okay. When we've had the ball and had a chance, we haven't looked horrid. We just, on defense, we've been bad. And that was Jada doing his job. That's That's awesome. Oh, gets us a corner. Wow. Could have just let it go. Yeah, I forget which team he's on in Germany, but I do know Dennis Seaman is, is amazing. Yes. I would suggest you get Nicholas Jackson. Stuger. Okay. Nicholas Jackson from Gambia. Can get him on a loan. He's like $15 million to purchase. He starts at two and a half stars. He's a striker, but he can also play the winger, attacking right, attacking left. He is phenomenal. I mean, look at this. We got we got all of these low level players. Like it's to be expected. All right, so who do we get out? Um, I think we get Vitor out. And who do we put in? Lima. Put Lima in for Vitor. We get Gustavo out too. Okay, this is the last friendly. Next game, everything starts counting. We're putting my tactics, we're putting my management. On the line here, folks. This is this is a team that I've I have to do well first season. There's no warming up. There's no just finish top half. They want me to get promoted this season. They want me to win the league and get promoted. I got no choice except for to win the league and get promoted. Or at least fight trying to do it. That's our new striker, Lucas, chasing that down. Okay, they're going in hard. Nice cross. Hey, Latte Anarchist. Welcome back, my friend. Hope life is treating you well. I've got uh, last last night's stream is up on YouTube. I'm doing a Let's Play series with this save. So we're recording again. And like I said, I edited up the uh, stream from last night. I cut out basically a half hour 
four four plus hour stream turned into a three and a half hour video on YouTube. Most of the cutting in it was in the, the early stages when I'm making the coach and all that stuff, but it's freshly uploaded on YouTube. So just thought I'd pass that along. I hope life is treating you well there in the uh, the wonderful land between continents, I guess. Um, I mean, you're the country between different sections of, of, of the world, so hope things are treating you well there. We're getting our ass kicked, as you can see, 3 nothing. Our last friendly was against our, our second team, our B team, and we crushed them. Daniel, you are not doing anything to earn yourself a start. That's for damn sure. 6-7 rating. That's not horrible. Mr. Whitey over here, though. Wow. He knows what he's doing. He's making my decision. Oh, doo-doo! So close, doo-doo. Let's try Gomes over there on the attacking midfield left. That's fine. He's my he's gonna be my number two striker. Oh Jada! So they're saying, oh he's playing out of position. He's playing out of position. Yes, but he's getting into shape. And he's gonna learn that defensive midfield role. So he's he's one of the best players on the team, if not the Oh, Whitey! Oh, doo doo! You got to get that back to Whitey on a one-two there. Like that—that's just bad. Whoa, whoa, Ramos! That was not good either. Right. Mark said uh, he did the right thing. He's like, you guys just can't hold on the ball. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and score here. All right. So defensive left is Gomes. Bruno Gomes, Jose Gomes, Bruno Gomes, we got the Gomes going, and they they can pass to each other. So if we can get Gomes to Gomes link up this year, that'll be cool. I'll just be able to say it's a Gomes squared goal. Oh, we're we're pushing them in the second half. That's good news. So let's put it on attacking. Let's see if we can do anything with that. Gomes trying to go to Gomes. Jose to Bruno. Well, we got more shots than them by a ton, but they've gotten been more clinical. They got three goals and we got none. Got to put that on the D. Because that most of their goals, well, they got one like rocket outside of the outside of the box that nobody was going to stop. But other than that, yeah, it was pretty bad for us. There you go. Bruno is going to be a starter up at striker for us. But we're playing him right now, attacking midfield left.
There we go. Oh, Calero got it. He got it. Oh, Jose. Juan Jose Calero. Nice dribble by Zay Manuel. Nice cross by him. Calero follows up on the miss with a little tap in. We finally get on the goal sheet, folks. We finally get on the goal sheet. Yeah, we're going to do our sub. Yeah, we're going to do our sub. We're going to keep Jada out there for the whole game. He needs to get into shape. He needs to get experience in his defensive midfield role. It's going to take him several months before he's even decent at that role, but we'll still play him in the games. Don't know if I'll start him a lot, but we might. It all depends. Cake is getting down. Oh, Calero saying, I may have gotten the assist, but I'll go for the goal. Nice, Bruno Gomes. Get Bahi in there. He can. He's a striker as well, so he can play everything on the right side and striker too. Nice, Calero. Get rise up to get it. He's probably going to be my backup target man, striker. With Gomes here, could do it as well. Oh, it's offsides. That was going to be. That was going to be another goal. We had a chance. We lost it. I don't know who that's going to, but. Zay Manuel playing amazingly good off the bench there. Oh, and he gets himself a goal. He's single-handedly trying to bring us back into this match, even though it's a friendly, folks. Wow. Wow. That's two. F that's an assist and a goal. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's get Baja off. Let's get our starter Aurelio out there. We're going to keep this on attacking for the rest of this game. See if we can pull out a miracle here. That would be really good. Last friendly, go down 3 nothing, and do a, perform a comeback. If, if we got two goals of the three back. Oh, and the, the crossbar saves us. Man, they, they are clinical for a team. That was barely off. That crossbar saved us. There you go, Markakis. To Manuel again. Bay. Oh, Calero, he ties it up for us, folks. Yes. It's a count. It's disallowed. Oh, so disheartening. It's so disheartening. Oh, he's way off. Okay. That makes sense. Let's go. Come on. You can do it. One more. One more. Very attacking time. Five minutes plus extra time. I know it's a friendly, but it'll really, really help boost the morale if we can go get a third goal and tie it up. We outshot the other team by two. We have twice as much XG, but they're beating us. Welcome to being FM'd. This happens on the road, folks. When you play your road games, just expect that you're down a goal before the game starts. Doesn't matter how bad the team is that you're playing. You're down a goal before the game starts on the road, usually. Bruno Gomes getting his foot in there. All right, get us a corner. 
That's good. That's good. Nice try. Zay Manuel's had an amazing game for, off the bench. Him and Calero have really impressed me in the striker role, despite not being the best rated of my strikers. They have impressed me with the way they've played every game I've brought them in off the bench, or started them even. I think I started them a game or two. This is my starter here, Bruno. He's definitely good. He, he's played well off the bench today, too, from... The, I put him on the attacking midfield left roll just because I want to see how he looks there. He's solid there, as you can see. I mean, solid. Oh, it's off sides. It is what it is. We went down by three. We we got two of them back. Couldn't couldn't push to get the third. It looks like it's going to end up being two three, but we made the score line look more respectable at the end of the day. And we did start a lot of second stringers, so. It's just good to know that we're not going to be able to mess with the lineup once it gets solidified here. Zay Manuel over to Calero. He's offsides. So basically anybody I start in that striker role, pressing forward striker role, seems to get a lot of offsides. Everyone who's played in that role seems to just generate offsides. So... That's just telling me I don't think it's the players. I think it's the position and the instructions is just courting those offsides. That's what I'm rambling on about here. All right, Bruno, we're going to get there? No. And that's it. I'll say I'm lucky. Won't get too mad at him. All right. They're third division. They're a division below us. Oh, crap. That's not looking good. That's not good. So let's put the starters, okay. better in the air. But Zay Manuel's better attacker. Alright, 
so. Mixed bag, but with that finishing going to Zay, we're gonna, we're gonna air with the Zay caution here. Lima can play defensive midfielder too. Sweet. Lima's good everywhere. Whitey. I think if Stevis gets the start, Whitey can Whitey can fight with Pe Pepe Gomez over here. I, I don't know which one I want to go with. In the first game. I think Whitey comes off the bench. The question is, do okay, and Clayton is two and a half stars.
good distribution on the bench. I know, I know I don't have to do this a week before, but I like to do this. We'll get them ready, we'll get them trained, and then you know what? Let's do tactics. We're gonna go. Let's go for it, folks. Yeah, we're gonna stay positive. We're gonna stay positive. Do a little community outreach. We yeah, played the opposition but lost. Okay, it happens. Review the draw. Let's just draw them all. Feliciano, Alexis, Matiera, Threda, Torrents, okay. All right, so we got a prem two Premier League teams and two Second League teams like us. All right, it's not going to be easy. We only have one tactic, folks. One tactic is all. We're a one tactic team. They gotta learn this tactic, get better. I'm just gonna force it down their throats. staff meeting yeah he has so we'll train do on finishing okay let's adjust our reminds me to adjust the set pieces yeah okay okay our new our new center back okay just a youngster sweet I don't even know who this guy is cutting calls huh not good enough on the tackling front attacking midfielder huh ooh look at that natural fitness determination acceleration pace well, this kid's 17 and oh man first touch dribbling he does not have the crossing he needs crossing passing technique okay, he needs we need to train him as attacking midfielder I don't do anything with the uh, with the youngsters right now okay start him anyways, so whatever. I'll back off on him. And he understands that there's competition in the position. Sweet. 
Give them a little more, max them out on what we can pay them. Brazilian is what we need. Alright, whatever. I don't really care if he gets the coaching qualifications or not. It doesn't bother to me. This guy looks great, but I don't think we, I don't think we could afford his salary. the guy that's got the serious injury problem. Make an offer now. We got we got three good goalkeepers. We brought in a backup at defensive right. Holy shit! Look at this guy's technicals. Twenty flare natural. He's slow as hell because he's thirty-eight. But my god, dubious too. Estimated salary is... Are, are you kidding me? Seek us legend, huh? Let's try and get him on a free. Estimated salary is only 50k. We can afford that. That's what you got to do with these lower level teams. Is you got to just find that one or two like old superstars... We got a new sponsor deal. All right, who's our sponsor? What's the Trivello shot? The bicycle kick?
Almost. We're finally getting into the season. We're finally getting into the season. Looks like I got me a squad. Looks like I got me a squad. Let's do this. We'll put Lima on that side. Gives us a hundred K. We got a hundred K. All right, we'll walk away. I'd love to. I'd love to have another great striker, but I don't have enough money for him. He wants. He wants. We offered him one hundred eighty K, and he's like, not enough. And I have a hundred K. That's it. I got no money. I got no money. We gotta sell somebody. Oh, we tried to get him and they. Oh, he, he went to Viz, which is in the premiere. Oh, just a little slow. Just a little slow. All right, so let's go back to out of contract. Let's see what we got here. Eleven in progress. He's attacking midfield left. That is a position that we technically could use work up. Dangerous from direct free kicks, speedy, balanced personality, inconsistent when presented with chances. on the free kicks which reminds me got us to just those but he's 14 and 13 on the speed rating so suggest so these takers corners Pipe Jota Sousa V Whitey Gomes Ariella free kicks we got Estevez Jota Zemanuel Sousa Whitey Pipe and long throws we've got Combs Ariella Whitey it's fine alright so let's go penalties Sousa Pipe Jota Bruno Gomes Sydney Lima Daniel Ariella Combs Macedo Perfect. Okay. Looks like we're set on our free kick stuff. We're defending, we're doing free kick training, we're doing defensive training before our first game at home. And then we're doing attacking training in the second week. Fordham signing in with Blasi Brazilians. Do we get another young goalkeeper? Because our one of our old goalkeepers is 38 or, or something like that. How tall are you? 6'3 is not very tall. He needs to work on consistency.
Let's compare them with our 18 year old here. Okay, so he's got, he's good. Aerial reach big, oh shit. He's got the physicals too. He's on my short list, so I'm not going to freak out. We're scouting him. This guy just doesn't look that great. We've got a whole month. We've got a whole month. We've got 100 k on the payroll. That's it. No money. No money on the transfer budget. We already spent it. we got three players, so... him on the under 19s because he is under 19 scout make it ongoing we're gonna say this and we're gonna say 15 to 22 I only want young players in the that league we will go 16 to That's our league. That's our division. That's basically just scout everything in our division. Makes sense. Oh, you got the link up there to the Travella. I'm going to mute that video, but I'll watch it. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's just the way he, the way he strikes it. Oh, okay, okay. He strikes it with the uh, outside of his foot, like kicking straight forward and hooks it. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it's a guy. That's cool. That's a cool little. I'm not watching the whole ten minute video, but uh, thanks for that, day on because you're such a fucking wealth of information, man. Oh, Marcakis, tight thigh. Oh, that's been Vitor and since he's tight thigh. Yeah, I, I've seen I've seen similar stuff to that, but yeah, I see. He kicks he kicks at the ball. Straight on with the foot, but he hits it with the outside of the foot, so it kind of hooks in. It goes like it's going out, and then it, it's a bending shot. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool shot. I can't. I can't praise anybody. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We don't have we don't have much morale going into the season, so let's let's hope we can blow it out the door starting the season off. I do feel like the 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 game kind of tries to give you some love in the early games of the season, so I I am starting game one. Game one, foolish rabbit. This is game one. We'll find out where we stand. So we're basically we're, we're ranked based off our names, so that doesn't count. All right, they want Clayton instead of Vieira. They want Gomes instead of Souza. That is right. Gomes instead of Souza. Clayton instead of Vieira. I can do that. And they want Vieira instead of Gustavo. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. He had a bad training week anyways. With Preston? With Preston North End? With the team I suggested for you? No way. They want Vidi and Daniel. No, we're not going to do that. Let's put Vidi in on the left, though. 
I want Estevez. Newcastle. Oh, okay. I told you Preston North End. I thought you were starting a new save with Preston North End. Newcastle's a good team in this uh, in this year. Last year, you got a whole bunch of money to buy a team with them. This year, they're pretty damn good. That was the last game I played with West Ham on stream. They beat me. They beat me 2-0 at home. I was at home when they beat me. And then the next day, I started this save. Does it have much potential? And neither does he. That is somebody who does show potential. Okay. Defender center, six foot two. He needs better jumping reach. Tim Watts. Okay. Attack and midfield center. It's not a role I need. Sorry, Martin. I remember that name. I was looking at it earlier. Arsenal's also a very good team for this rabbit, so. They're a very good team in this game. They're one of, definitely one of the top five in the premiere. Okay, this is weird. So, the club wants me to record a second league top half finish. Competitive. Be com so, my agreed, my agreed stuff is way higher than this. Okay. Marcakis is fine. But he's still injured, so we're not going to, we're not going to, push it in the first game of the year. So. They won. No, no we're not changing our formation. Okay, let's take a look at Lima up there. See if that's any better. He's faster. What's his passing? 10. Alright, so what's Lima's? Passing is 12. Okay, so Lima is better. Alright, we can start him there. That's fine. So we got a, okay, quite a few under 23 players. Only two of them are starting, it looks like, though. Make sure he's on the correct side, yeah? Right only. All right. All right. Let's save it up. Spooky Horn, this is the Portuguese Second League. I don't know. I don't know, Fullest Rabbit. They uh, were having problems. They said there was going to be delay, but 
they, I haven't seen any update. I don't have PS5. I don't have any consoles. So I have no idea. I only PC game now. I'm a snob. Um, so I don't know. All right. There we go. They're happy. Let's go. First game of the year. Here we go. Pal Grande with his mohawk. Purple mohawk. Let's go. 4-2-4, four, four, baby. We're bringing this into the Portuguese League. We're bringing this into the Portuguese Second Division. And a 3-4-3. Three, three. Okay, that's a pretty defensive setup we're going against here. Portuguese Second League, folks. First game of the season. We are playing with Nacional de Madriara. Uh, Madiera. And they are in the Azores. This is uh, one of the most Western... Uh, clubs in Europe so they are not the most western island in the Azores but they're pretty close to it so that's why I'm playing with this it's where it's where um, it's where some of my family several generations ago uh, immigrated to America from so I thought let's do uh, let's do a tough save in a league I've never played in. And this team wants me to sign Brazilians. So we're making this... We're making this... Uh, Nacional Brasilia. That is going to be the team. Nacional Brasilia. It can be all Brazilians eventually. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. Fighting, fighting in the midfield. Making it hard on them. Oh, that could have been card if you didn't get there oh the deflection in this save all right first two minutes is rough for them we're pushing hard at home here there you go weedy mr whitey you do it you do it whitey you do it whitey all right got a corner look at look at how few people are in their stands there's nobody in that nobody behind the goal nobody behind the goal but we're we're packed we're sold out underneath the the cover oh let's go let's go Game one. Nice cross across the whole entire field. Switch sides. Steves is in because he played really good in when I gave him actions in the friendlies. He was not on my radar to be a starter. He was going to come off the bench because he's naturally an attacking midfield center. But because he played so good when I, when I played him on that left side there, attacking midfield left, he played so good. He had a couple goals. He just was clinical. And this team is lacking clinical finishers. So I thought, let's give him a run. Let's see if we can start him. Along with our other players. Oh. Gomes, Gomes took a rough tackle for no reason. It was offsides. All right, Whitey. Nice pass. Oh, Sydney, right on goal. That's our new signing. That's our that's my big signing, I guess you could say. I got I got three big signings. I got three signings on the team. Two center backs, but that the one Sydney is playing in defensive midfield. He can play center back, defender right on the fullback position, and he can also play defensive midfield, which I was weakened. So we are starting him in defensive midfield in game one. See how he does there. Uh, the other the other big signing I have is my starting target man striker. I believe his name is Lucas. Forget the first name. He's right there. He's going to get the ball. No, he's not. Bruno Gomes gets the ball and he just sails it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Pedro Lucas.
What is that? That's just like a breakdance move. You went for the tackle and you realize you're going to get a card and stopped? Offsides. All right. Not the best start, not the worst start. Let's demand more from the team, though, because we are at home. And let's shift it up. Let's move to attacking since we've dominated most of the game. Oh, you hurt yourself with the tackle, huh? Dan Lubick gets it up, and there we go with Stevis. He gets a goal, and it doesn't count. Aww. But that's why he got the start. He's clinical. Oh, he's way off sides, yeah. But it's good to see the ball going in the back of the net, even if it doesn't count. A little, a little morale boost. What are you shouting me out for, dude? You're in the wrong chat. It's my, it's my chat. What you doing, mod? What you doing, latte? <laughs> Ah, okay. Just try a funny one then. You want, dude? I have so many funny commands that nobody ever uses. Oh, what is that, Sydney? Uh, he'll get to halftime, it looks like. I got a whole list. If you if you wanna if you want a list of the commands, Latte Anarchist, you just go like that. That'll tell you all of them. We're going we're gonna to bring Gustavo on at half, but it's so close to half, I'm not going to waste a, a sub before half. We'll see if he can get himself back into a little... He looks like he's playing all right. He doesn't look bad. Yeah, his, his fatigue level is coming up. His stamina is coming up, so we'll see how he does. comes in he's pleased that I said step it up and we're on attacking folks it's a zero zero game but we have dominated it so we're gonna see if we can get ourselves a goal or two here in the second half pretty pretty boring start to the season but we've dominated the game we haven't let them get a single shot not it not even just on target they haven't even gotten a single shot off so we've dominated the game there you go, goalkeeper. There we go. That's our new striker, and he gets it on target, too. Oh, oh, man. Penalty. We got a penalty. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yes! What were you doing? Tugging on his jersey? He 
he's on thin ice. He got a yellow card. Of course he's on thin ice. Estevez! See? He's my best penalty taker, too. See? There's a reason I started this kid. I knew it. He got, he got a disallowed goal, and now he gets the penalty end. Makes up for his offside goal. There we go. The fans love him already. He just started on our team. Oh, he must have just brought him here. Wow, FC Porto B is up 4 nothing. Oh, Estev is putting a foot in. He's saying, I got the goal, but I ain't done. I ain't done. I ain't done. Oh, Aurelio. Oh. He's got himself a card, so. Let's ease off those tackles. Oh, man. Last, last day and a half, I've been fighting dizzy in his spells. Getting lightheaded for no reason at all. Don't know what it is. I think it's because I ate too much too much candy. Ate too many cupcakes and cookies. Freaking holiday season, man. All those sweets, just I can't stop myself. Um, no, I don't. I think we have an affiliate. I don't think we. I don't think we are an affiliate of anybody. I don't know. That's a good question, Latte Anarchist. I'll take I'll check that out after the game. I don't think so, but who got injured? Vidi's tired. Mr. Whitey. We're bringing you off for Pipe. That's who got injured. It was Whitey Gomez. That's why he lost his fatigue so much. Oh, Bro Gomes just couldn't put it in. He just couldn't put it in, folks. All right, so. Nice, Clayton. Nice! Lucas is not... He's snatching at it. Hmm, let's go with... Let's take Lucas out. He hasn't had a great game, so let's bring in Zemanuel. Since he had a good game in the last friendly. We're still keeping it on attacking. I'm not going to back it off to balanced until we get to about, I don't know, 80 a minute. Well, it's the 75th minute mark. This is when this is when it starts to kick on for the, the opposing team, it seems like. There we go. Yeah, they they got they got their first actual chance. Our defense stepped up, but I think it's time to go to balanced. Yep, like I said, 75 minute mark, folks. It's 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 hard coded in the game. It used to be 85 minutes, then it was 80 minutes. Now it looks like it's hard coded in at 75 minutes that they're gonna step it up. I mean, they literally in the last five minutes have gotten. The exact amount of shots they got in the first 75 minutes of the match. First 75 minutes, they had two shots. Then the last five minutes, they've had two more shots. So, let's definitely go to balanced. Let's not go a little aggressive. Let's try and hold out this clean sheet. It's hard to get clean sheets in this engine, I'm telling you. There you go, Pipe. Pepe Gomez. There we go. Gustavo gets it up to Zay Manuel. Oh, he should have let it bounce. You could have gone short side if you let it bounce and volleyed it, but that's all right. 
Alright, same manual. Somebody else had a yellow card there, Vieira. Alright, so he's played like crap. He's tired, so let's bring him out. We'll put Sousa in. How about, can we sub him off too? Sure. And let's put Vitor. Get our subs in, get our subs in. There we go. Just switching the side that those two defenders are on because one's left footed and one's right footed and I had them on the wrong side. Eat up some clock, but let's try and get another goal. We, we worked on defending set pieces. We didn't work on attacking. That's next week. This week coming up is the attacking set pieces. Hi, Sousa. Just stand right there and steal it. And chip it up. That's alright. It was a little late on the chip up, but I ain't mad. Oh, what a cross. Zay Manuel. Oh, wow. Burning it. Burning it in. Didn't work, but... There we go, there we go. That what a pass to Bruno. Oh, he just couldn't get it down. Just couldn't get it down. Bruno! Vitor, wow, coming in off the bench. Good for defender. Same with Zay Manuel for the attacker, for a striker position. He's played great up front at, off the bench. Daniel took a risk. Wow. He took a big risk. Wow. That could have they could have tied the game up right there at the end of extra time. He, that was that was big. That was big. That was a big move by our goalkeeper. It's a little risky, but it worked. I ain't mad. Our only goal has been on a penalty, sadly. But it still counts as a goal. We had one disallowed goal, which was clearly offsides. Wasn't even close. So, yeah, we get a victory in our first game, folks. This would remain focused. So, do we have a big affiliate club? I do not think so, but let's check it out. So, we get a win. That's, that's good. We get a win. Three points secured, exactly. Affiliated clubs. All right, so so we got a Brazilian lower division, Portugal, Camacha. Brazil. Tom. 
so. Yeah, but the problem is, is if we go up to two years in a row, proposed affiliates, none. I mean, we could. We got four affiliates below us. I don't think that I don't think that's gonna matter as much. I'd rather improve the youth facilities. Let's see if we can improve the youth facilities. Weedy out Whitey is out for one to three days. I've never seen this before. This boss Pacheco is seen there. Rumors are he was keeping a close eye on him, who he's a, reportedly a huge fan of. Not that he's trying to buy my player, he just likes my player. <laughs> so it's the same guy. Nah, he's not that great. Do we have any transfers? No. Uh, family bloodlines there, tomorrow guy. I wanted to run with some, um, to run with in the Portuguese league with a lower level team who has no like history of being super good. And I wanted to play with a team in the Azores. So I did a little research into my family bloodlines and into the Azores teams and just crossed the two together as close as possible. And that's how I came up with Nacional. I mean, vacation spot, you could say that. Yeah, it's beautiful. The Azores are beautiful. So the whole thing is to build a club that never has won any high leagues. They've never won any Euro Cup. They've never won uh, the Premier Division or any of that. So we're going to build them into the best team in Portugal. And hopefully I can get them to win the Champions League and bring the Champions League trophy basically. Um, no, 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 no. Old school sleuth work. Fuck the DNA tests. My, I, my family's done the DNA test, but I won't. That stuff is, it's not as accurate as people think it is. It will be accurate in 20 years when they have a database of every, most everybody in the world. But right now it's not, it's not the most accurate. They're, you're really, you're just signing away all of your uh, biological stuff that could be sold to anybody at any time. I just don't understand why. It's just like uh, the Amazon Alexa here in the US. It's like, uh, it's a listening post. Well, I mean, we're all related. We're all fucking humans. Let's, let's just be honest here. We're all humans. We're all related in some way or another. I mean, what do they say? One fifth, one out of five people, 20% of the people in the world are direct descendants from Genghis Khan, one man. <laughs> I mean, it's a small world. Oh, American. Uh, that's not a position I need. You were doing an island club journeyman and uh, Portugal has a handful. Yeah, yeah. They're all in the Azores. The Azores is beautiful. So you, uh, yeah, I think I, I remember you mentioning that. A journeyman island, just going from island team to island team. William the Conqueror has many grandkids too, yeah. Yeah, but not one-fifth of the world being a, you know, a direct blood descendant from him. <laughs> that's, that's, nobody is close to Genghis Khan. That guy, guy fucked everyone. He, he popped out kids in every single freaking continent. He conquered the world and he conquered the women on his way there. We're already scouting the second league. This is the problem with the scouting this year. It's like it keeps asking you to do the same thing over and over and over again. Diego wants too much money. I'd love to have this player on our team, but 
We got 100k for salary. And he's not even in position we need. Okay, that's a little more than we got. And he's a defender. Defensive midfielder? Okay, because he's on loan. So why are you telling me about him if I can't buy him? Okay, a little expensive. This, this guy is low salary, but we don't have the money to buy him. Position I'd like. We don't have any money, really. We can... We can we could jerry rig around the the, uh, the transfer budget, but I, I'm I'm basically looking at we get one, we get one free transfer in here probably, unless there's some young kid we can get in who's cheap. All right, defensive midfielder, 14 first touch, 14 tackling, but everything else is yellow. It's not bad, but we got a really good right back. This is a position I'd like, but he's a little high on the salary he wants. And not really that great. Okay, it's a position we could use. He's okay. 5-4. We could get the shortest guy ever. Guy's literal shorty, shorty, but 40. But he's got 14 dribbling, 12 crossing, 15 first touch, 14 composure, 13 flair. He's got he's got what it takes for the position of attacking midfield left. I mean this this is what I play as an inverted winger. I mean you can see decisions is the only thing he decisions, vision, and work rate he'd need to work on, but He's not strong, but he's consistent. Oh, very consistent too. Really high potential. All right, we'll scout him for a week. Add him to the shortlist for a year. Oh, he's a free. He's a free? Oh, shit. Fuck that. Free? Sure. Free with a, a salary under of 10000 Yeah. Sign me up. Sign me up. I'm good with that. It's 28k. Oh, you offered him 28k. What? Why were you unable to work out a deal with him? Give him 10,000 bucks for two years. Why not? Oh, he was looking to sign him. I don't want to lose him, but that guy was, but he was, uh, he was kind of mad I blocked the uh, transfer offer before, so I told him we'll let him go for 375k. So if somebody comes for 375k, I gotta let him go. All right, I, I figured they would reject that.
See, they don't want to feed it. They don't want another club because we got too many already. Um, so. That's all I'm gonna ask for now. I'm not gonna ask for anymore. We gotta win some games and get them get them happy before we move on. That that actually looks decently like me, to be honest with you. I think that's the best I've done of making a face look like me on accident. <laughs> Oh, Jose Manuel broke his ankle. He's out for three to five months. Ouch. That's got to hurt, buddy. Good thing we got a deep club here, huh? He played good off the bench in the last game, too. Kind of sucks for him. We'll get by. We'll survive. can't afford his salary. Hey, hey! number Mr. Whitey go ahead and say hello to him oh this is a this is another kid Decent potential. Three and a half to four star potential. He's six three. Yeah, whatever. We're gonna do the end of contract. Couldn't hurt, couldn't hurt to have another goalkeeper. We can always send him off too. Alright, what do we got? bad game in the last game so we're gonna just say sorry bud you don't get to play this one but I 
think what we're going to do is this. Vitor came in, well, maybe the problem was we started him on the wrong position. Let's try him a defensive midfielder instead. How old is he? He's 30 years old. Nah. Nah. We're not going to do that. I'm going to punish him. Vitor came in off the bench and looked good, so we're going to do that. Let's go to balance because we're on the road. They on the road you tend to come out. the The home team tends to come out a little, a little on fire. So we play Monday and then Sunday. Okay, we can deal with that. We worked on set pieces this week. I, you know what I'm going to do with the tactics? We're going to make one minor, one minor adjust. We're taking play for set pieces off. Signing, even though the new signing really isn't going to be playing. I'll say he's got a chance, but that's the new signing, Ross. No, you know what? This is what we'll do. Let's get Vitor out. I'm going to start Lima on the right side. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to put Gustavo in. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. He came off the bench and played good. Automatically saving it up for me. Wow, look at that. Doesn't mean I won't save it right before the game anyways. It's just habit. Just habit. Okay, they want Vieira instead of Gustavo. Because of his speed. Well, he played really bad in the last game, so he's getting benched. Alright. They really want Daniel in, but I just didn't see anything from him in in preseason. Like, I just didn't see anything from him. They're like, we want him to start, but I mean, everybody else uh, is better than him, and I, I just don't see that. Like, I'd rather start Pipe Gomez there, but Estevez did great. I, I'm doing, I'm sticking with the team we got. Their, their suggestions are decent, but we got we got a go with our gut here. We've got to use our, our, our big dick energy and 
Just say, nope, nope. We're going with what we, we're going with our guts here. This is what we're gonna do. We've already set up our training, so we got away and home. And then we got a big away game against SLBB. That is Benfica's B team. That is going to be tough. on the payroll budget. Sweet. Stay there. Okay. Marcakis is not fully ready, but Whitey is. So we're gonna start Whitey. Like he's he's already scheduled. He just had a bruised knee. A tight thigh is different. So Marcakis is on the bench still. We're not gonna I believe we're not gonna put it push it right yeah I got more kick on the sitting on the bench he's not he's not even gonna be a sub they really want the 4 3 3 defensive midfield wide interesting I mean that's not a bad formation to be honest with you I don't think it's a dumb formation don't get me wrong I'm not gonna do it though I'm a 4 2 this is my this is my thing okay we're, we're not listening to what their suggestions are we're doing our own thing here. They lost their first game. We won our first game. Let's see if we can keep that going. Let's see if we can keep it going. Doing golf claps here because I don't want to pop the mic. So we're doing tiny little golf claps. Let's go. Let's go, Nationale de Madera. 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 That's probably how you say it. Madera. I'm just, I'm just really bad with pronunciations because I'm a stupid American. And we got the purple jerseys on. I love it. I love that we have purple away jerseys. It makes me happy. I finally have a team with purple jerseys. It's going to become a fixture team, I think, playing with these. Taking our time, not doing anything. All right, Clayton, just give him a corner. Fair enough. You probably could have given him a throw-in, but I'm not going to split hairs. Being cautious is okay. There we go, Whitey. Sydney Lima doing his thing. 
That's our new. That's that's the best center back I signed. So it's good to see that. Oh, Clayton just couldn't keep it down. Stevis is awesome with those set pieces, though. It's worth keeping him in the starting lineup. That was a good move by them. That was a good move. That was definitely a good move. I'm not I'm not throwing it up to attacking or anything like that yet. I haven't seen signs that we're way better than them. We're looking good, don't get me wrong. Oh we'll get a corner. Oh, it's a block. Sweet. It wasn't just a mess. Sweet. Um no somebody had mentioned that to me. I did not know that though. I didn't know it when I picked the team. But yeah, one of when I was making the 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 save, some people came on and were like, "Oh, who's going to be your next Ronaldo?" Because he was on their youth team. So I did find that out, but I didn't know it. So I learned that just yesterday, after I started the save. Oh yes, oh yes. Tell me accounts. Tell me accounts. That's it. Pedro Lucas, my new striker. Oh baby. Oh baby. Estevis, the one they want to take out of the starting lineup. The one they want to take out of the starting lineup. He's got our first goal in the season, and then he gets the first, and he gets an assist in the season, too. Oh, Lucas just had to tab it in. I mean, my goal with this team, what, what I'm supposed to do, according to the board, is I'm supposed to sign Brazilian players, I'm supposed to sign young players, and then sell them for a profit. So that's basically, I'm supposed to be a churn and burn team, which is perfect for my management style. So we're going to try and get that youth squad going better. And There we go, Clayton. Just tap it back to the goalkeeper. Just kick it all the way down the field. I don't have a problem with that. Dira. Let's go. Let's go. Nacional. So we worked on we worked on set pieces before this game. They they've they've had the control of the game, but all right. Lucas almost got another one there. It's just a little high. It was set up, set up by Estevis. Nice Sydney jump in there. Instead of starting starting him in a defensive midfielder, I started him in the center back role, which he's more comfortable with, and that definitely was the right call. Definitely was the right call. Gustavo gets it up to Whitey and Gooms! Yes! 2 nothing. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! We are off and flying! That's right! That's right! That's direct passing. That's my... Oh, yeah. No, I don't need to add play for set pieces. We're up 2 nothing. We're doing good. We're doing good. Calm down. Calm down, performance analyst. I, I know you're just trying to show it's worth it's worth your paycheck, giving me good suggestions, and I don't think it's dumb, but we see we seem to get enough set pieces without play for set pieces on, and we're up to nothing. So there's no reason to change what we're doing. There's no reason to mess with it right now. Let's just leave it as is.
Nice! Gomes! Good job. Just charge that down. Don't let him get any easy luck. See if we can hold. See if we can hold here to half. Stevis, nice! He realized he couldn't control it and just chipped it back. Perfect, perfect play. Daniels holding it. There we go. Whitey. Oh. Whitey's got an assist. Yeah, we've got we've had two brief moment moments of control of the match, and we got goals out of both of them. That's good news. I'm gonna say it never works when you say I know you can do better. It always you always gotta either tell them you're great or tell them they suck. There's no half-ass measures. You either tell them they're doing good or you tell them they suck. That's that's what you gotta do for feedback. just a good play right out of the gate it's off a set piece just didn't work out they're still pumped up though so it's just it's just right out right out of the halftime the other team, they get the morale boost stuff that you get, too. Don't, don't forget, folks. Like, the same thing you do to get a morale boost on your team, they're doing the same thing to get a morale boost. You just got to be better than the AI. You just got to memorize what works. They're probably just going with whatever's suggested. Oh, Ariello, you could have you dribbled around a little bit more. Nice D, Lucas. That's a striker doing that D. I like it. Wow. I thought we had no fans. They got a huge stadium, but they don't have any fans. Offsides. So they've outshot us. But we have a higher XG, so we've we've played better. They've just outshot us. Jota in for Dan Levick because he has not had a good game. Even though he's not really trained in the position, he's a great player, so. There's Jota right there. He's one of our best players, so we gotta get him we gotta get him in every once in a while. And before he gets, you know good at the it's going to take several months before he learns the defensive midfield position but in the meantime we can get him a little action and up to one where dan levick is having a bad game is a good time to do it just a good time to do it all right well i was thinking to get mighty off so let's get Pepe, mr Pepe. he needs to get his fitness up Sides. They still haven't done a sub? Oh, there they go. 
Oh, they did a triple, so. Alright. And I think we bring Souza in for gums again. Vieira is off sides. Alright, so my new strategy brought to me by one of my followers here. Oh, 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 it's the wrong one. Tempo. We'll drop the tempo instead of going underbalanced. Let's keep it unbalanced, but we'll just drop the tempo a little bit. For the final final ten minutes of the game, basically. Going for his second goal of the game. Nice, Silva. What a pass ahead to Lucas. What a pass. Oh, he got a second one. That is going to ice the game for us, folks. Oh, that's the, that's the tactic strategy right there. That is why these tactics are special. Nobody else is playing this dirty direct passing. But look, Gustavo all the way from back there. Chips it ahead to Lucas. He outruns Campos and just one-on-ones it into the goal. Folks, these tactics are un... Well, I shouldn't say unbeatable. Top-tier tactics. That's what I'm going to call them. Hit him with... The hard, fast counterattack. Nice. Nice, Pipe Gomez. He's saying, I, I want to start. I want to start again. Silva with the tackle, even though they were else offsides. Beautiful. Beautiful. 3-1, folks. This should be iced. We got one minute of extra time left. That's right. We're going to do the usual 2-0. Two, two wins in the first two games. That's good. It, I, I always feel like this game, the first two games, it's a lot easier for your team. It's after that that it gets tougher. So we'll, the real the real test will be in the next game. After our two freebies from the engine, the hard-coded wins in your first two games. <laughs> I don't think it's hard-coded. I just think it, you get an easier shot in the very beginning of the season. But then, it was a good win for us. Is right. 3-1. We got three goals. We got one goal in the first game. We got three goals in the second game. We're going in the right direction. We're going in the right direction. All right, so I think I'm going to leave it unbalanced. I don't think we're going to go up. I think we're just going to leave it unbalanced. Because that was unbalanced the whole entire game, and we got three goals out of it. We play the counterattack really well, so... Now, granted, that team had lost their first game. Now they've lost two games. So be at the bottom of the division. We don't have the money for him. We don't have the money. We don't got the money. We don't got the money. I don't know if we need to worry about striker now. Attacking midfield left. That's this we could probably deal with. Ooh. He's good. Let's add him to the short list. It's A pluses. I like to add A pluses to the short list. Anything in the A I usually add to the short list, but because we have such a low budget on this team, I'm not going to do that here. 38 year striker. Can jump and head it. He's strong, but he's not very fast. 14 finishing, though. He's a 
target forward. At least 38. I don't think so. I'd like this player. 30 is not bad, but... Okay, 19.5, 118K on the salary, but he's got 16 dribbling, not bad. Not really gonna work though. I mean, he's all right. Okay, this guy's great, but the salary is out of control. If we need a defender, that would be good. I'm adding him to the short list because he's 18 years old, Brazilian, and it's a position I want defensive midfielder. He could be he could be good enough. I think he's gonna be closer to two stars, but cheap enough to where we can afford to get him in. This okay. This is a, this is another one. This is a position we we are looking at. Attacking midfield left. So we're gonna add him to short list. I'm not making a move on him yet. We're gonna do we're gonna wait. We're gonna get more of this month's scouting in. So I'm more likely to sign a really young player than anything else. We're either gonna get a a first team starter at attacking midfield left to make Whitey have to sit the bench. Or we are going to roll with what we got and sign some more youngsters. That's more likely what's going to happen is a youngster. Okay. It's a little more than we could afford, but uh, I think the other one was better. Adriano. Oh. Oh. This would be my dream defensive midfielder. I can't afford him, but... That'd be my dream defensive midfielder. Let's add him to the shortlist because he's A+. Plus. Defensive midfielder, we could get him on loan, but we already have max amount of loans on our team, so we can't do that. So we're just going to continue. I'm not, I'm not worrying about the signing yet. We still got another two weeks until the window's over, and I don't have a lot of money, folks. I don't have a lot of money. We got 111 on the payroll. That's it. So... Oh, we got the highlight. We're up to fourth. We're up to fourth. There we go. There we go. To C plus for two wins. Okay. Who got in there? Who got in there? Estevis. Okay. All right. Okay, so he renewed his contract. That was a goalkeeper I tried to sign. No big deal. No big deal. We got we got three. Alright. I should have gone to the restroom during the last game. I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
and I'm back. Thanks for sticking around. Those of you who are still here, I appreciate you all. So, we got our priorities searching for a defensive midfielder. This is more affordable here. Jaku. We don't have this kind of money, but... If we happen to sell Danilovic, he's a possibility. And then here's another Brazilian. Okay. okay. He looks all right as well. Yeah, it definitely looks all right. This guy's way too expensive. Problem with this skin, I can't hit restart. Always been that problem with this skin. Not full functionality. Two games, two wins. Let's see if we can make it three out of three, folks. And then we got a big one after that. SLBB on the road, wow. This is who we sign. He's Brazilian. He's got good acceleration and pace. Let's take a look at the reports here. Okay, so he's down the he's down on the pecking order. Even though Gustavo starts for me, so Gustavo's the fifth rated and he starts for me. So it's not always just the ability, folks. So, uh, he's got a lot of potential. Let's... When does this contract end? Okay, that's a while away. Let's, let's try and transfer him. Dudu's coming off his injury. Okay. Let's give him 90 minutes. All they need is to get match fit. Jose Colero, he's on the bench for us, so I'm going to say no. Oh, Muerte bringing the sirens, bringing the sirens, Muerte, welcome my friend, welcome, thank you for the raid, I appreciate it as always. Um, Jota's on our bench, so we're going to go next match 90. Not much, playing with this new Portuguese team here. We got our first two games of the season as wins, so... So, Calero and Gomez need to come off the bench. Souza is coming off the bench. So is Vitor. These people are coming off the bench. 
Bahia is not available, so... Um, yeah, we'll do that. Ooh, 5,000. That's all we're going to have to spend for this Brazilian kid. That's good. That's good. I'm okay with that. Let's just get the youngsters in here. We can transfer them out later or whatnot. It's not a big deal. Uh, I mean, like, loan them or transfer. Like, just I gotta build. I gotta get the young kids from Brazil. That's what they want. That's what they want on this team. So let's try and pump up everybody we can. Let's see how the training is getting. All right. So we got some bad training this week. Bad training for Clayton. Bad training for Ariella. Which is not cool. Those are both starters. Vitor, good training. Okay, he doesn't think so. Whitey, Whitey's doing well. That's right, Whitey. Stevis. He did good. Baha. Bahumba did not. Okay. And Calero did not. Vieira. Okay. I, I always look at the reasoning why they're saying it. He had a really bad first game. Let's put him in. Dan Levick and Marcus. Yeah, let's try that. Now, Marcus, are you tired? No, oh, you're all right. I'm not going to do the Marcus. Marcus is coming off injury. We're going to say no on that one. Switch that back. They can. We can ignore that. They want Daniel for some reason. They like Daniel. We're not listening to them. We're not listening to them on that stuff at all. We're doing what? Okay. Drastic changes in training intensity. What are you talking about? Drastic changes in training intensity. You guys are whining because you have to train hard? Seriously? Get the fuck out of here. Alright, so we've got a couple games in us. I think it's time to go through the individual training and go ahead and start training all of our players. Try and get them new traits. Nice. 5k for him. 15,000. Fair enough. We got him for a good deal. Jada is tired. Balde is tired. Anybody not tired on the bench that can bring in. Let's 
guy might turn out to be pretty good for us. Two star right now, but... You know, he's way down that pecking order, but... That don't mean nothing. Alright, we got the right starting lineup. That I'm pretty sure of. They want me to switch those two. I'm not doing it. And they want... They want... Pepe! Okay. Now that makes more sense than your usual request. I'm not taking out our, the, the leading scorer on our team, Estevez, though. We're not doing it. I mean, we could bring Pepe in for Vidi, but he's, he's in form. What is his stats for this? Two appearances, one assist, 7-3 rating? Yeah, um, we're going to do this. We're running with our starting lineup. I, we put Vieira in, okay? That's that's the only real change I want to do. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Two wins in a row. What do we got? Oliver Nice. What did they win? They got two draws. Okay, right. A four, two, three, one. They got two draws, we got two wins. Let's see, let's see who can get the best here. We are at home, folks, so Madeira. Let's go, Madeira. Whitey almost got there. The goalkeeper got a little, a little risky. All right. All right, they're on their back heel, so let's go attack. Let's just go. We, they don't they don't look faster than us so nice Aurelio well you got it stolen from me pretty easy but that was good moves until then all right Jose Gomes get the corner kick all right who's taking it Whitey perfect Oh, Pedro Gomes almost. Stebbis from the free kick gets us a corner. Beautiful. And they don't want to play him. Every single game, they're like, no. But he's our informed player. He's got assists. He's got goals. He's got three goals on the season for us. Like, oh, Whitey, nice try. Went across the goal there. That was a good one. Estevez gets it up to Lucas. Uh, not the best cross in, but there you go. Gomes! Oh! We're looking good. We're looking good. We're on attacking. We're blasting them right now. over. Oh, it was offsides. Gomes was offsides, but that was still... Our movement is, is phenomenal so far. 
We don't have anything to show for it, but our movement is phenomenal. Nice, get it up to Estevez. Oh, that was a setup, that was a setup. Man, we're so close. We're just missing that final little pass. That's all we're missing right now is that final pass, and, and we got ourselves a goal or two. So let's demand more from the team. Wow. We got lucky. We got lucky there. Got lucky. well together always off sides that's all right that's all right it was a good move step is setting it up for Vieira and he cannot put it in but that was on target Vieira's first start always off sides too great lots of offsides Let's see how they're looking still can't still can't demand more yet but whitey what a cross. Oh, just in between two players, though. Clayton's doing well. Gustavo. All right. Yeah, Estevez got it wrong. Is right. Nice way to get it up. Estevez over to Lucas. Oh, he just goes for glory too soon. We still can't demand more. I'm a demanding yeller. That's my that's my coaching style. Oh, it's just a just a tad too far for Stennis. He's playing well though. He's he's moving well. He's getting there. He's that he's close, man. We are playing good as a team here. Nice, Lucas. Keep control of it. Up to Bruno. Oh, he's offsides again. Man, Estevez is setting them up and they just, they're not going. All right, let's demand more now. That was not good, Estevez. Nice, nice. Get there, Danilovic. Good, good. Good. Very, very good. <laughs> it up to Estevez get a corner beautiful we still haven't scored but we have been dominating yeah we're gonna add play for set pieces why not we don't have any goals There you go, Gomes putting the press on them. That's what the press does for you, is it makes them have to get rid of the ball and ship it back to you. Nice. Keep control. We've had a... We, for a direct pass, and we maintain possession really well in this game. Danilovic did a good job just keeping the ball. Vieira's played well in his first start. Nice pass up to Estevez. Cross! Oh, Vidi could just miss their white. He could not get it. Estevez is just the best player on the team. 
every game. I don't know why every single game they're like, we don't want to start them, and I've, I've forced them in, and they're just, they just keep saying no, we don't want to start them, and it's like, this guy's... Oh, he almost got it off the crossbar, so close, that, that was a goal. Ten shots to two, folks. Alright, let's yell at him. Not happy with your performance out there. You weren't bad, I can believe you can improve. Midfielders. Let's keep going. Right. Gomes is disheartened. I shouldn't have yelled at him then. I couldn't say anything else. I wanted to say we had a lot of shots. Because we did. Gomes got a yellow. Jose. The one who was disheartened. Get us a corner. Get us a corner. There we go. Okay, so we... Whitey is not playing well, so... Pipe Gomez, or whatever his last name is. Rodriguez, whatever. He can come in. Whitey serves these up, though, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, his crosses have just not been on par. Get us another corner. Get us another corner. Let's keep doing it. He's the only one who's not playing well, so... I thought about taking him out for this game, so let's let's put on Pipe Gomez. Switch it up. Oh, Gustavo, you just gave it right back to him. Oh, what a chip ahead. little over, but that wasn't that bad. Vieira on target. Nice. I don't know who... I, I, th I think that's good for subs for now. We're going to wait. It's an early sub. A sub before the 60th minute is early. Okay, Daniela Vick. Sixteen shots, but we got nothing in the goal. There, great pass. Stevez working it. Get it back, get a corner. Alright, who's taking the corner? Who's taking it? Gomez. Oh, he served it up to Pedro, but he could not put it in. always do that sneak back in to lurk muerte i love it never change oh all right gustavo started that out Whoa, 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 whoa. I hit the man more. 
We're going on to go to tactics, and we're going to cancel those tactics. Yes. Uh, as soon as I go, as soon as I go hit demand more, we get a goal. Lucas gets a goal. <laughs> I can't demand more after a goal. We gotta wait till we get the goal. Awesome. So Gomez served it up better. All right, you got yourself a start in the next game. Whitey's out. He had started the season good in the first two games, so Whitey's out now. You'll get a start, don't worry. Mr. Gomez. Okay. I think we move off attacking now to positive. Just back it down just one. I'm not go I'm not going soft on them yet, but they're gonna try to counter punch. That's how this game is, if you haven't figured it out yet. After the other team scores a goal on you, that's the best time to flip it up to attacking or very attacking and try and sneak one out yourself. Even the score, per se. Nice. <laughs> Comedy of errors gets us the ball back. All right, so I think we're going to take Gomes out because of the yellow. They're more attacking. Yep, so... We're going to go to balance then. All right, so let's get... Oh, we got no more subs? We already did our four subs. All right, we're, we're done then. The direct passing, like I have, playing balanced when the other team is on attacking, we get a we get a good chance like that of a counter attack. Now it didn't work out, but 20 shots to three, we're still sitting in the driver's seat on this one clearly. But no reason to go too aggressive on the formation. Just trying to get an extra goal. A 1-0 victory is just as good as a 2-0 victory, but it is not the same points as a 1-1 tie. Oh, Estevez gets his goal. That's the second goal of the season. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. He is a must start. He is a must start every game for me now. He impressed me in the preseason. That's why I forced him onto the starting lineup because of that reason. He was just clinical in front of goal from the attacking midfield right position. So he is, he is he locked it up three games, best performer on that, on that pitch in three games. He's the best set piece taker I have. He's the best assist man I have. And he's tied for the most goals on our team now. So yes, please. Yes, please. Morris Devis. Clayton's been solid in defense, too. I think this is the second start. Yeah, second start for Vieira. The first start, he started in the very first game, and he had a 6-2 rating. He played horrible. So I took him out in the second game. He's had a great game this game. All right, so this is what we do. Okay. Slow it down. Yeah, Vieira 8-1. Wow. Wow. So sometimes benching your players is good. Like you a lot of people like to criticize them for the last game, and I do that sometimes, but I really find that like if they have a bad game, you just bench them. 
You bench him for a game. You don't even have to talk to him. You just bench him for a game and then bring him back the following game. And that tells, that sends the same exact message. They know what's up. They know their position as starter is, is at risk. I guess you could probably do both. But the, it, it, if you're going to bench them, you don't want to criticize them. But if you're going to start them again, you criticize them and hope that they turn it around. But if they don't in the second game, well, then you probably just go with my bench them. All right. We've got one minute left of extra time, folks. We got another victory here, two nothing this time. We are cruising this season. This is looking good. We're supposed to get promotions, so even though I'm confused, it says finish in the top half, but they also want us to get promoted. I just it doesn't make a lot of sense. My contract says that, and then the board said you've got to finish top half, so. I guess I won't get fired if I finish top half, but they they really want me to get promoted two years in a row? I don't know. But that's what we're shooting for. Promotion two years in a row. Make this into the best team in Portugal. That That's the goal. Oh! Oh! A save as the whistle blows. That is, that is a way to finish it off. 11 progressive passes. Great. Good win. I'm just going to tell him good win. Up to second place. All right. There's only two teams that have won all three games. Us and Farinis. Now we got SLBBs next. Okay. They got one win, one loss. They haven't played their next game yet. Whitey, you're getting benched for the next game. And I think we go. Z Let's get Lima in. Try Lima in for defender, defensive midfield position. not out of they both signed this kid here is out of contract goalkeeper okay he's six nine consistent professional manner oh six foot nine goalkeeper but he doesn't of the best goalkeepers for six foot nine he's only got 13 jumping reach 13 aerial reach got really good potential though be, be another solid one what does he want for right. let's, let's do it six foot nine i can't say no to a six foot nine backup goal i mean that's just that's just a beast he's tall like height height as a goalkeeper is so important forget all the other i mean the stats are great he's also solid he's all that stuff but yes i know what the data hub is very well of that. all right let's 
set up. Here we go. Let's do attacking. Defending, defending, defensive efficiency. And let's do what? XG? Is there an XG? XG table. That should be good. All right, so this this is what the data hub does. This is how I like to break it down, attacking, defending, and then the general stuff. You can do this however you want, but I suggest you do this uh, at attacking, a defending, and then general with whatever extra stuff you want. You might not care about passing pitch tilt. Uh, I, I switch this these up all the time. The XG table is nice to have on here. You could get rid of a bunch of these and, and, and just add a bunch of different tables or the last few games or whatnot. I like the overall. So as you can see, we're doing amazing with the attacking. Our movement here, we got lots of dribbles and we're frequently fouled. Look at this. We are, we are the most fouled team and we're, we're dribbling. We're the top four of the dribbles. Attacking efficiency. So this is a, a this is aggressive shooting axis, and this is this is clinical, wasteful shooting. Aggressive versus passive. We're on the aggressive side. This is wasteful shooting and clinical shooting. So we're a little on the wasteful side, but we're aggressive. In three games. So here, oh, I just looked at the shooting. Scoring wise, we're right here on the high scoring. Clinical shooting, but this is wave soul shooting, so it's the same kind of graph as the last one. Defending here, we're just okay. Don't have a lot of clearance of blocks, but we got a lot of XG. Con so, so we'll look at this, break this down, and fewer blocks, fewer clearances. So we just haven't had to defend. We've had the least amount of defending action so far, and it's reflected in defensive efficiency. Quiet defense, impenetrable defense. So you got to look at it, all, all this. Why Why are we bad on that? Defending? Oh, because no, we're not even having to defend. But when you look at this, lots of headers, strong heading. 
We are the best team when it comes to the aerial. And that's what I like. Tackling, we're here. We got, this is lots of tackles, this is fewer tackles. Strong tackling, poor tackling. So we got strong tackling, and we're just a little under the, the, the midline of strong tackling, of, of sorry, fewer tackles, lots of tackles. So once again, that makes sense because we're not doing a lot on defense. Goalkeeping, impenetrable defense, quiet defense. We're the best goaltending team. Pitch tilt. Lots of passes against in the final third. Lots of passes for in the final third. So there's a lot of action in our games. Passing. This is always going to be bad with my direct passing. Fewer passes, inaccurate passing. Yeah, we're, we do direct passing. We're never going to be in this quadrant with the passing. I, I just have to accept that. XG. Average XG per match is 2.2. X points. Position 1. Actual position 2. So, just a little breakdown of, of the data hub for you and uh, how you can use it. it. It's, you don't need it. Once a month, you go check it out, right? Like, if you, if you want to, if you want to see, am I crazy? Are we, are we not performing well on the attacking, but we're still scoring goals? You go and look there and you, you can look at different ways to break it down. And you got to always keep in mind, like I said, I'm playing direct passing, so we're never going to have accurate passing. When you're chipping the ball over the top all the time, you're going to give the ball away. It's just it's just how it works. Got no cash to spend. Got no cash to spend. All these players would be fine, but we got no cash to spend. These players alone look good. This guy can play both wing backs, but he's not that amazing. 18, 19. Oh god, this guy's really good. Wellington? No. He wants a million dollars. We can't afford that. Okay. Jumping reach. 6'5. Oh, defensive midfielder. That is good. Oh, he's tall from Fiorenta. Fiorentina, suit too. Sorry. Let's scout him. Add him to the short list. He's 12 to 110,000. 43 to 50,000. 40, 40 to 60,000 basically on the, the it, it's he's just pushing the boundary of what we can afford we got plenty of defenders we got plenty of center backs too expensive on the salary mm, we don't need a defender but So what do we got on the transfers here? So we're working out a transfer on this 23 year old. Midfielder. Working the contract out on this kid for defensive midfielder. He can play defensive center as well, but he's a defensive midfielder. Five foot ten, he's not gonna be a center back. So we got two. Two players we're working out the deals on. I think that's going to be it for the team in the in the transfer window. That's going to be a lot of action for what little money I have, let's be honest. And I believe we're going to do this one last game here, SLB B, and then I think we're going to call it a night. It has been, and we'll call it a stream. It has been a good, successful stream. We've been going for four and a half hours here. And we've won our first three games. This is our first real test against a top-notch team. SLBB, they've won two games and lost one. We have won three games out of three. So this is going to be a full test. Obviously, this is the B team of the top team in Portugal. They're two, the top team is two, two divisions above us. So 
All right, my my two defenders were in the team of the week. Sweet. Okay. They're doing a good job getting us uh, all the under-19 coaches and stuff. I don't even want to worry about that. Let them do that. If they find good steals, I'll promote them to my team. If they don't, well, whatever. We'll just not let them go. We'll just let them go, I mean. I mean, he's good, but too expensive. One week, one week. We got. The... All right, deadline day recruitment meeting. What do we got? They got nothing for contracts expiring. Okay, staff suggestions. I already tried this. I couldn't sell him. So, Dan Levich is expecting attracting interest. That's fine. We're not... I I found out. So transfer activity is what we got going on. Script recommendations. We're already like, I don't have to worry about this. I'm I'm on top of the fucking scouting. I handle it myself. I know what the fuck's up. Like, I know what's up there. Nice, nice. The six foot nine goalkeeper is like, yes, please, pay me. to be okay, and there we go I signed a six foot nine goalkeeper I know I'm supposed to sign Brazilians but I can't a six foot nine backup goalkeeper are you kidding me fuck yes fuck yes oh god damn see I I don't have the money for them. I, I don't know. I, no, that doesn't matter. Uh, I, I, they'd never be able to afford them. expensive yeah I'd love to can we get him on a loan no we don't know I'm gonna add him to shortlist for a year because he might work out if we get promoted that that's the, he's he's on loan right now but if we get promoted these are the kind of th things you got to think about like I can't afford this player right but but okay wait 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 he's got no interest in, never mind he's got no interest so I'm not even gonna bother All right, Pedro Santos 19 year old he's got potential he's kind of expensive though and he's We'll fully scout him. We'll add him to the shortlist for a year. Because these are all okay. And then this is BDS. BS ID. The beast. The sad team. He's too expensive, but. Well, I put for one week on accident. 
and we'll just do the same thing because they're, they're all great players and let's just assume the best instead of the worst let's just assume that we're going to be good enough to go up and we're going to need some players that we know about so that's my new six foot nine goalkeeper franca is my backup goalkeeper He can be ongoing. Calero will give him off the bench again. Macedo. Let's give him 60 minutes. Gomez is going to start. We could start Sousa, I guess. Let's get Vitar. Kekis is already in. Dudu already up there? Yeah. We got one week left and one of our best players they're saying is going to get sold, so... Do our individual training now before the end of the stream while I'm thinking of it. So that's our new that's our new six foot nine goalkeeper. Alright, so Clayton, praise him up. Very well. Let's move him on normal intensity. Oh, let's make sure. Let's put these goalkeepers on double intensity. You can put your goalkeepers on double intensity. What does he need? Oh, he's got... Okay, command of area. What is that? Also goalkeeper double intensity and we'll put you on the same stuff. Reactions. Alright, so Clayton. Your defensive. We could do ball control. First touch, dribbling, and technique. And I think we give you. Oh, we can't do new trades yet? Okay. Okay. Some players I can, some players I can't. Alright. Uh, maybe because he's on a loan? I don't know. Anyway, stay back at all times. Let's see. Defending training is throw himself into tackles. What do you think? No. I like stay back at all times. Mark opponents tightly. There we go. That's see, that's a training. All right. All right. And this is this is where you make the difference on your team, folks. Okay, and we'll work him on crossing. He's 34, so we're not going to be able to give him a new trait. Sydney Lima. All right. What are we going to work him on? I think we work him on ball control. And see if he can throw himself into tackles. There we go. Kekis. So we're training him. Defensive midfield is his thing. So we're going to do...
ball control as well. It looks like a lot of the people here on the defense need their ball control worked on. Um, um, try killer balls. Okay. He's too old. 30 years old. They say you can't trade him. Fair enough. Fair enough. So let's go to normal intensity here. Viera, let's train you also on ball control. We're going to train a lot of people on ball control. And he's 30, so we're not going to bother giving him a new trait. Vitor here. Let's go normal intensity. And it looks like they all need ball control. So let's just do ball control for all of them. Runs with the ball through the center. Brings the ball out of the defense. And we can't teach him anything else. Probably because he's on loan. All right. So... Gomes, we're going to put him on no, I don't think so, attacking movement's fine um, that's good Does need vision, but mm. uh, da, da, da. What is that going? Positioning gets forward whenever possible, runs with the ball down the left. And let's say some through passes. What do you suggest? All right, move the ball into his left foot before dribbling. It's fine by me. All right, Whitey, what do you got, Whitey? Let's work on crossing with Whitey. Tries tricks, does not dive into tackles, cuts inside from the left wing, and get forward whenever possible. Fast players on the wings and fullback position, get forward whenever possible is just lovely with them. Hugs the line, tries long passes, does not. Same thing we're going to do right here, get forward whenever possible. And we're going to work on crossing as well. No, I forgot to praise all of these. We only got feet to order praise. Oh, and he didn't like that. And we got Whitey here to praise. All right. We're already working on get forward whenever possible with him. So we're going to do ball control. Let's try. I usually do 7 3 and up of, but he's kind of pissed off at me, so. Let's praise him first before I forget. And this is, oh, we can't, okay. All right, ball control again. No, never mind, not ball control. No, okay. There we go. There we go. I usually try to work on the weak spot, weak stuff. All right, Jota. I don't know if we're gonna be able to give him a, a new skill, but we're gonna do defensive positioning on him because we're trying to retrain him as a defensive midfielder. Okay, let's try movement training. Get forward whenever possible. All right, we can. Twenty nine. You can still train him. Sweet. Stevez. What do we work on with him? I think we could work on defensive positioning and 
clearly get forward whenever possible. Rossin, our new, one of our new signings. skills tries tricks because he's got flair he's got dribbling so tries tricks we'll give him tries tricks first we're trying to work on acceleration and pace so we can have him get forward whenever possible so you don't always have to do the same thing with every player okay Carlos Daniel this is the one they always want me to start at left so let's try him at attacking midfield left because that's where they always are trying to make me start him and let's work on your shooting. Tries killer balls often. Gets forward whenever possible. Ruben Macedo. Okay, they want half intensity. He just got a injury. He's already got five skills. Not going to do anything there. But we are going to work on crossing. Stevis, I didn't praise him. Wow, 7-6 and you don't think you trained well, huh? All right, Doo-Doo's working on shooting. That's perfect. Beat the outside trap, knock the ball past the opponent. Let's see if he can place his shots. Bahi. The lone players, I'm not able to do those skills on. I'm training them back here. He's going backwards. Let's train him on defensive positioning. Okay, Bruno Gomes, target forward attack. Let's see if we can train him a complete forward. Trade him on pressing forward because that's what he's playing as right now. So that gets pressing forward. As you see, you switch what you're trading him at, and it switches what skills it pushes on him. So he needs composure, which I believe is. What is that? Final third. Composure decisions. Move him up to normal intensity. He's got shoots from distance. First time shots. Okay, he's injured. We're not going to do anything with an injured player. Oh, did I forget to tell you? Good job, Bruno. Good job, Bruno. Pedro Lucas. Normal intense. We've got him. All right, what are we going to give him? New trait. Back to the goal, because that's what a target moving forward does. Calero. Move him on normal. Calero, we're going to train you on shooting. Freaking striker with nine finishing. Okay, he's on loan too, so. Alright, and that's that. That's that for all the individual training. This way I get this done on this stream. I don't have to worry about it next stream. We're set now for the season. It wants Lima instead of Vieira. And Vieira instead of Lima. That is actually fine. We'll switch them. Even though I don't think it worked. We'll try it. And they want Sousa instead of Gomes. I was contemplating that. So let's do that. Kekas instead of Danlovic, I don't want to do that. Vidi and Daniel instead of Estevez and Gomez, I'm not going to do that either. And they want Dudu instead of Gomes. Alright, 
let's compare Dudu and Gomes. Where's Gomes? Bruno Gomes. Yeah, we're not going to do that change. We're just going to... We'll do that a little bit, but we're going to leave what we got. But one last game, folks. Last game of the stream. Wish me luck. SLB. B team. We can go 4 of 4 in the season right here, right now. Or we'll be 3 out of 4. Either way, it's still a good start to the season. But I would love to go 4 out of 4. 4 games, 4 wins would be an amazing start to the season. Three games, three wins is a fucking amazing start to the season. Let's not kid ourselves. Let's not kid ourselves here. We have been clicking on all cylinders. That's right. Clicking on all cylinders. Five minutes suggested. We have them 60 minutes on the B team, so that's fine. Works out. All right, this last game here. Three out of three so far. Can we go four out of four? Let's see. They want to do a whole bunch of changes, and we're going to just tell them to fuck off and we'll do what we want. So they're doing 4 4 2. We are 4 2 4. We are going for it. All right, let's go. Yep, yep, yep. They might struggle, but they might go the whole game. Okay, they got a lot of subs. All right, let's go. So, one game, lost game, won a game. 4-4-2, pretty basic. It's hard to break down a 4-4-2. We've got three out of three wins. We're a 4-2-4. We will concede the midfield. But once you step over that center line, you're going to get rest. And if you try to go wide on us, well, we're going to be there hurting you. So that's the whole strategy. And when we get the ball, we're going to try and counterattack right away. Chip it over the top with some direct passing. That is what we do. That is what we do here. Oh, they're definitely, they're definitely fast enough. This is the one way I, I can, you can tell the quality of the team you're going against is just based on how, how quick your team is versus theirs. Is every move you make, are they cutting you off? Or are you just like making a dribble and you run around everybody and, and taking off? Like that's one of the easiest ways. Like, I'm not saying they're they're clearly, but they're, they're clearly at the same par as us, at least. Where we should be, a, this is going to be a tough one. I mean, this is Benfica's B team. This is going to be a lot of good players here. Gomez, chipping it in from the corner. Nice, get it up to our man, Estevez. Gums. Oh, Vieira just missed it. Oh. Oh, he had a good game at Defender last last game. So, oh, just barely missed that one too. So, let's move him to defensive midfielder. He's off the tackles. That ball winning midfielder, they get a lot of cards, so you got to be you got to be willing to switch him out to just regular defensive midfielder and once they get that yellow card. Because the, the, the ball-winning midfielder tells him to go hard in the tackles. Oh, wow, Gomes off the post back to Samuel, but he was offsides. 
Nice, Susa. Oh, we couldn't get there. That was Gomes, couldn't get there. Wow. Daniel getting the ball easy. I uh, didn't see it. <laughs> it was an easy pickup, but it uh, could have been very bad. Oh, I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Pipe Gomez getting down and dirty, fighting, fighting. This is gonna be a struggle. They're they're clearly they're clearly a good team. Like uh, at least we're on. A, they're at least as good as us, if not better. Probably better than us. Yep. They're, as I say that, they get a goal. Yep. Not a surprise. All right. Let's encourage the team after that. We held out for 16 minutes, but they're just, I think they're just better, better quality. This is Benfica's B team, so. Who missed that? It's Sydney. Or is that Clayton? That was Clayton. Clayton missed it. Sydney's on the right side. Well, Clayton's had a good start to the year, so. I'm reluctant to push it past balanced against this team. Because they're a good team. Like, how they lost a game is beyond me, but they, they probably were on the road and not at home. Nice, nice, Lucas. Just get up. Oh, that's a yellow. No, just a warning? Okay. And nothing came of it, sadly. All right, let's let's push it to positive, just because we're down one. They're a good team. Let's try and get a goal back while while they've kind of backed off a little bit. Okay, Pipe, that's not a good way to maintain your starting role. Come on, Gomes, what is that? What is that crap? Nice, Sydney. Nice. Oh, what a steal. What a... Oh, we got it right back, folks. There we go. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Gomes had the ball stolen. Played dead. Gets up. Says, oh, I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> That's why the high press is so important. That right, that goal right there was 100% because of high press. 100%. Girl! CDN. That's right. Nacional de Mentira. Oh, they threw it out of bounds too. We got them scrambling. So they got the first goal, but... We ain't, we ain't lying down. We're going to keep it on positive, obviously. We got a goal. Why wouldn't we? is offsides. Okay, it didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. There you go, Ariola. Gets it over. Pipe! Get us a corner. I'm okay with that. 
So we, this is this is what you can learn about your team. They've got enough heart to go down and not give up, come back, get a goal. Oh, was he offsides? I think he was offsides. Yeah. Yeah, he was offsides, clearly. He looked offsides. It's all right, though. Just gives my team the confidence that they can perform and that they can, you know, compete. That's all that matters. We, as long as they believe they can compete, we can compete. Let's so let's we, see what they said. Sousa did good. Ariola lost possession. He did well. So they struggle for possession in our half. I didn't really pump him up at all. My halftime talk did nothing. Nice, Estevez. And he gets there. And he gets there. Oh, beautiful tackle. And he gets there to save it from going out of bounds. Two times you almost gave up a goal for us. Yeah, he's got a 6-3. We got to take him out. You're not man marking. Nice, Daniel. All right, let's take him off for Whitey. I just can't find somebody to start that attacking midfield left position. the goalkeeper there to come that far out. Wow. Wow.
two new defensive midfielders to try and hold out. And we might have to go back to balance. Nice, Ariella. There we go. That wasn't exactly a good clear, Whitey. Sydney with the block. All right. They're dominating the game now, so let's go back to balanced. Souza. Just clear it. Get it out of there. Wow. Lima just stood there and said, you ain't coming through me. And he shot it right through him. And he said, nope, I'm, I'm a wall. I'm not a window. Fourth minute, so now we've got to push. We got to push. Oh, just a good play. Yeah. Let's encourage the entire team. Exactly. What I say all the time, Latte Anarchist. Seventy-fifth minute. All of a sudden, they're gonna start. They're gonna score. Uh, you haven't scored all game. Nothing's happened. All of a sudden, seventy-fifth minute happens. Boom! The engine says time to start letting goals in. You just gotta understand that this is something hard coded in the engine. I don't know if it has to do with fatigue or it's just they they want they wanted to make the end of games more interesting. I don't know what it is, but this is why I jumped to attacking, hoping that we can get one too. Yeah, no, I know, I know. I know how it works. Oh! Oh, it's a penalty! It's a penalty! It's a penalty! No, I'm, I'm aware of that. I'm a completely aware of that, Latte Anarchist. I know I'm American, and you wouldn't expect me to understand that. Right. There we go! Tie it up! Tie it up! Alright, 2-2. Two -two. Estevez gets his third goal of the season. All right, and we're leaving it on attacking. Let's let's see if we can sneak this one out here, folks. That encouragement worked. We got a penalty. We're we're doing well. They're they're kind of happy. Hopefully they're scrambling now. Oh, Stevez gets the penalty kick and then gives them a free kick. Come on now. Come on. I don't think I have any more subs. I did my four subs. This league I understand. It's four subs every game. Pretty straightforward. Oh, we almost took the lead there, Gomes. Oh, he's offside. Never mind. He's always offside. That guy's perpetually offside. It's alright, Jada, Jada, moving around. There we go, Sydney. Get in there. It was offside. Sweet. Jada looks so lost in that defensive midfield role, but I, I, I gotta give him action. Yeah, he was offside. See if we can sneak something out here. 
Oh, so close, Lima! My god, that was so close to being a free kick. Oh, they're 4 3 2 now. They're switching up their, their formation big time. Oh, Pedro Lucas just couldn't put it in. Five minutes extra time. We're pushing them on attacking here at the end, folks. We're gonna try and sneak this out. I'm not. I'm not gonna back off. We're, we got them on the back heel. Oh, Victor! No, Victor! No! Oh, Daniel saved it for us. Holy crap! Holy crap! What an exciting end to the stream, all huh, folks. Holy crap! Two-two. Five minutes extra time. Yeah, it's amazing save. Nice to say is it's not giving it credit. They're just switching around their formation and players a lot. Oh, VD. Mr. Whitey. There we go. Just fight for that. Just fight for it back. That's what I like to see. That's that's what my tactics are. You are gonna get you are gonna get pressed. You are gonna get attacked. You are gonna lose control of the ball somewhere in the midfield. Especially if you just stole it back from us. Jada with a nice pass out to Sousa. I like that. Sousa saves it from going out. I'm fine with that. Jada! Oh, he, he almost was the hero! He almost was the hero there! Wow! Alright, Whitey, what do you got? Oh, that's not a good pass. I got nobody to play on attacking midfield left, man. I swear. Sydney, he's had himself a come out game saying, you got to keep me in this lineup. I don't like sitting on the bench. There we go. Get us a corner. Get us a corner at the end of the game. Oh, maybe we can get lucky. A 2-2 tie is not, against this team, is not a horrible thing. We'll still be unbeaten in four games at the start of the season. Of course, I'd like to win four in a row, but... The only thing... Oh, man, what a game is right. Holy crap, folks. That was just... Yeah, that was just awesome. 13 shots to 12. We had 7 shots on target. They had 4. 19 fouls to 21 fouls. I mean, they had more possession, but I played direct passing, so that's to be expected, right? Stevis had a 7-6. Cruz had a 7-8. Clayton did horrible. But, oh, man... I'm going to say I'm not happy with the performance. We should have won. We could have won. But we were on the road, folks. We Oh, we're... Okay. Farinese has not played yet. Farinese hasn't played yet. So, we'll be in first place for a hot minute. Oh, Farinese just played. No, that's a different Farinese. <laughs> Ferenc Farinese. Okay. Two, two, two almost identical names. But anyway, we had a we had a good stream. Okay, we got ten points in our first four games. We won three in a row, and then we tied on the road against Benfica's B team. This is a positive, as far as I'm concerned. We've started the season out right. We are on target for trying to push for a promotion this season. In the first season, I am happy.